evening, everyone. Welcome to Out of Bounds. I am Kung Fu Fruit Cup, and I hope you enjoyed this past week of amazing runs on this last Awesome Game Sun Quick 2024. It was so much fun, so much fun to be a part of. And just as a heads up, my voice is not in great condition because I was doing a lot of yelling and shouting and excitement and all kinds of things all week. Um, between all of my my things that I do there. So anyway, we are here on Out of Bounds. This is a show all about glitches. It's like a glitch showcase and exhibition. And tonight I'm joined by TSR Storm, who is going to show off glitches in Bandra Kazooie. And I can't yeah. believe we haven't had it on the show yet. What's up, TSR? How's it going? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm good. I'm hanging in there. Like again, awesome. voice not so great, but the rest, um, the, the rest of me's doing good. I've kind of caught up on some sleep and um yeah. It's been good. So mm -hmm. I'm so glad you're here to join us tonight. Again, Banjo is one of my absolute favorite games on the N64 and like up there in my favorite games in general. Um, so uh, I'm really excited to like see. I mean, of course, I've seen runs of this. Um, I'm just excited to see more glitches. I know that there have been some new things coming up in the last year with this game. So that's going to be really hype um, to see and hear about. Uh, so, mm -hmm. yeah, like before we get started, I just love to to kind of ask the question like, what got you into running this game? <laughs> I don't really know. I mean, I did a casual playthrough on N64 like three years ago. And I, at the time I was running Mario 64. So I was like, hey, Banjo is a pretty cool game. Maybe I should try to speed run it. Then I did any percent, which is probably not the best idea for this game. It is like this game it is you just can't really do any percent like as a beginner. So, yeah. I did that and then switched over to Xbox and I did that for a while. And then now I'm kind of just like a glitch hunter, I guess. I still like running the game. I I, I still do, but mm -hmm. I like uh, glitch hunting. So cool. yeah, a lot of glitches to show here. Well, I'm really excited to see them. And so uh, as we go through the show today, I, uh, um, I'm i just looking at chat and that's something I wanted to bring up. So as we're going through, if you all have questions as we go along, feel free to post them. I can relay information um, to TSR. And, um, yeah, it's really kind of going to be like the floor is yours to like show us, um, show us, like take us through these glitches. Sorry. I'm just also oh, thinking yeah. about your question <laughs> about getting into this game. I'm like three years ago. That's cool. Um, yeah. yeah, as a glitch hunter, I'm excited to see what you have in store. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Yeah. All, All right. right. So when you are ready, feel free to give us a countdown and then take us through it. Just, uh, let's go, let's go on this journey together. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. I'm going to cool. crack this game wide open. Let's do it. All right. So I think I'm ready. Um, I guess I'll just do a countdown uh, oh. starting from three. Three, two, one, go. All right. So first glitch. I'm actually going to break this menu. So what we got, what, what we want to do is we want to hit help and options and return to arcade, like on the same frame, I think. So let's do that. Let's try that. All right, so that happens. So 2D comes out. She says, oh, are you sure? That's not what's supposed to happen. If you go to return to arcade, it will just show this. But it does like some weird glitched menu. And yeah. Oh, I'm going to try it one more time. Weird. Oh, didn't get it. Can't believe I got that first try, though. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> that was crazy. What happens if you hit yes? Does anything random happen? Oh, yeah, so if you hit yes, it just goes back, so. Oh, okay, because yeah. there's, like, only a yeah, now. Yeah, there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, so next thing. So there is the credits in the file select screen. We can watch them. Uh, so we're just going to go through the credits. Uh, there is a glitch that you can do to actually soft lock the game, and I'm going to do it, but don't worry, I can just get out of it really easily. Cool. And so when 2D's name goes up, I'm going to press B, and I will just be looking into the void of Spiral Mountain. What? Yeah. And I'll just sit here for the rest of my days. Just kidding. We're going to do a mechanic. It's called signing out. So you can sign out in this game. And what that does is that... Don't leave game. <laughs> sign out. And it will take you back to the beginning. And so we're going to uh, do another glitch. And this glitch uh, allows us to manipulate the demo. What the demo is, it's a, like, kind of just like a, it just shows all the levels of the game. Banjo's running around. Yeah, I'll just show it right now. He's running around. He's going to destroy an enemy. He's just on a set path. And this is actually the game playing. So we're actually in Mumbo's Mountain. Uh, Banjo is moving around. But I'm not playing the game. The game's playing the game. 
And so what we're going to do is I'm going to go back actually to Fossil because I got to sign out again. <laughs> and we are going to do a glitch that allows us to manipulate this. And it's a really, really cool glitch because it allows us to do something really big, like really, really big. So okay. we're going to sign out again. And so if you hold the, I think, what, right stick? Hopefully you can see that. If you hold mm -hmm. the right stick while switching to the demo from, I guess I'll just call this the concert thing. Uh-huh. Banjo will actually desync, so he'll just go on a completely different path. And so what's interesting about this is that, one, loading zones actually don't work, so we can't use that to escape the demo. But there's another way we can use to escape the demo, and it's really, really broken. And I'll just do that. Uh, I gotta sign in again. So I have to rely on my internet connection, so... <laughs> so I can already see why you decided to play the Xbox version, because we have some yeah. kind of wild things going on already. Yeah, so if I didn't mention already, this is Xbox exclusive. Uh, it could mm -hmm. work on N64 if we just had something uh, to manipulate the demo, but um, we just don't really have anything on there. So what we're gonna do is we actually have to watch this entire concert. And what we're going to do at the very end of the concert is that I'm going to press start six times. And what that's going to do is it's going to take us to the Rusty Bucket Bay demo. And if we manipulate the demo into maybe putting, you know, making Banjo run into the pit of, uh, I think it's engine room, something interesting may happen. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. So now we just have to wait, unfortunately. Yeah. And you just gotta watch this awesome concert. It's a great, it's a great concert. Yeah, yeah. Awesome concert. Motion capture galore here. Gotta love it. Look but how adorable. We can kind of see some of the differences between Xbox, so like Microsoft Game Studios. That would be Nintendo on Nintendo 64. So, yeah. But yeah, now we just, we're just jamming. And hopefully I do this <laughs> first try. It, I have to press start six times. I might have to do it again. We'll see. Okay. I think it'll be fine though. So do you just ma do you like mash it six times in a row or like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just use my like pointer finger and then I just okay. use my thumb to move the right stick. Sure. And so I'm gonna... Okay. But, but like it's just a really quick succession. It's not like you time it yeah. for in specific moments. Here we go. There we go. All right. And so Banjo's gonna fast. fall into the pit, and he's gonna die. And now we're in Rusty Bucket Bay. Oh, we're at- what? Yep. <laughs> what do you mean? Yep, we are at Rusty Bucket Bay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go straight into Engine Room. What? Where we just were, yeah. And this is where we're starting our, uh, showcase. I- I- yep. That's wild. I've never seen that. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. It's, it's a really so, cool glitch. That is so scary to me. Moving with all these yeah. things on. Ooh. Yep. All right, so our next glitch. We're going to be using this Xbox menu here, and what this does is it brings up the pause menu. And so that's, like, required to happen every time you pull okay. up the Xbox menu. Pretty much no matter what exception cutscenes. And so if you do it at the end of a cutscene, something interesting may happen. I don't know. We got okay. to check it out. Okay. So... Oh, I know that this room, there's like the engine room skip. You can go through that like kind of crack in the glass on this left side. Oh, yeah. I, I do that when I play casually. <laughs> Actually, I have to pause buffer this. So I'm using this menu. There we go. Okay. So now what? we have the menu up while we're playing the game. <laughs> and so we can just browse the menu if we want to. We can check help and options. Maybe we need some help playing the game. I don't know. Maybe hard. We can look through it. And yeah. So this is actually like a pretty big glitch on the Xbox version. Uh, this glitch itself saves about 20 minutes and I'll explain why that does later into the showcase. But what you just got to know is that the exit game option down here is extremely broken. It okay. allows for a lot of things and I'll be showcasing that throughout the, the showcase. So. Yeah, so I'm gonna get rid of it now, but we'll see it again in a okay. maybe an hour or two. I don't know. But okay, so next thing. Uh, we're gonna roll into these blades and then just jump through them. And so what that does is lets us skip Ooh. hitting the switch out. And I think in this room over here. Yeah. And so yeah. And then you're past now, that. Is he jiggy? Now we can get the jiggy. 
And so instead of going through this window, I know that this is like a pretty well-known thing, but you can just like go through the side of that window. But instead, we're going to do something else. We're going to uh, use another method to leave the engine room. Mm -hmm. And so we could just die, but that's no fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here. There's this pipe. And I'm going to go into the void out and we will skip dying. And so what's basically what's happening there is that the wall is just not long enough. And so we can just kind of go under it and avoid the death plane and go into the void out zone. So yeah. I did and... not realize you could avoid the death plane in there. <laughs> oh yeah. Cool. So we actually use that in any percent, but it's not really used in like any other category. But it's a pretty cool like little avoid out you can do. And so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go clip into the ship. And so I'll just quickly explain how this work works. It's kind of a little bit technical, but so if Banjo kinda like goes onto a staircase, he'll just get pushed up. And so I and so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to generate a ton of speed, and then if oh, I well. go into that part where it clips me back up to the staircase, I'll just clip through the ship. Oh. And now we're below now, the ship. Yep, now we're below the ship, and there's this, like, button we have to hit over here to lower this TNT, and then it, you know, opens up the boss mm -hmm. food box. What we're gonna do is just go into the loading zone, and we're in already. There's just a zone for it. That's awesome. I figured, yeah. like, something like that would happen. I was like, we're either gonna go into, like, the mm -hmm. back where the jiggy is, where you have to, like, swim up into, or, I guess, in here. How do you... Mm -hmm. I, I tried this casually when you get close to it, and you just hit it. With eggs and, yeah. it, and it just breaks without attacking you, and it never works for me. Yeah. So what what I did there was I sh I shot eggs before the boss fight activated, and so that basically doesn't let like the jiggy, uh, like get I don't know disappear or whatever, and so we can just collect it without actually doing the boss fight. So cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's like what what on earth you're doing these so yeah. fast? Can you explain like yeah. a little bit on how you got. Um, uh, like, what's the setup for- like, you just don't move? It doesn't always spawn in the boss there. Yeah, you just fall down, you just hold right, and then you just shoot. That's all you gotta do. But the uh, okay. I was like, yeah. I feel like the boss wasn't spawned in for me last time I tried that. Mm-hmm. So something else we can do with this clip here is- oh, hold on, I'm not getting a good angle here. Can you do this one on N64? Oh yeah, yeah. Most of the stuff I'm gonna show uh, that isn't like lag based uh, works on both versions. So that okay. that wouldn't be lag based. So any like clip that works on Xbox should work on N64. Gotcha. So what we're gonna do here is I went around the loading zone for Boss Boombox, and we're just gonna grab this jiggy without doing that long, you know, stupid like uh, timer thing where you have to hit two switches and go through engine room to right. Yeah, just that. The, the worst Jiggy in the game, casually, so we just skip that entire thing. <laughs> That's All right, really so, cool. Yeah, next, we're gonna go into the captain's cabin right here. And we're gonna do a little thing called a skew. Mm, nice stop and swap egg. Nice. <laughs> oh no, I almost yeah. collected it. <laughs> Wait, why wouldn't you collect it? You want me to collect it? I collected it. Yay! Yeah. There we go. Right. Cool. I just don't collect. I just didn't collect them because I don't know. It's just kind of fun to leave them there. But anyway, that's fair. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a thing called a skew. And basically, if you're like on the edge of this bed here and you jump towards this jiggy, Banjo's hitbox will be kind of wonky. And so you can grab the jiggy without actually Whoa. opening the the door there. That's cool. I love that. So yeah, that's that's a really cool thing you can do. It, does this act like the same as the N64, where if you get the eggs, they just disappear for all your files? Uh, I actually kind of forgot. I think it does. I think it's per, like, profile, like your Xbox profile. profile. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry I asked yeah. you to collect it. <laughs> no, you're good. Like, I'll collect them all. I'm going to collect the ice key, too. Let's, let's do it. Oh, nice. But, okay. Um, so here's <laughs> another one of those, uh, like, what do you call them? Like, negative speed clips lip clips where if i'm just going to build a ton of speed and go into this step okay i'll just fall through it and now we're underneath rusty bucket bay oh my now gosh we can walk under water. also a cool little detail here is that this texture right here you can't actually see it during normal gameplay so 
Yeah, that's unused. The one above Banjo or the one down below? Yeah, uh, above us. Ooh. So, this is actually the toxic area. And you can't really see below the water. You can't swim in it. You can't, you know, first right. or whatever. So, this is the only way you can actually see it. And oh. yeah, you can kind of see the girls floating. They don't have like collision underneath, so that's kind maybe of cool. they maybe they potentially intended it to be like a somewhat see-through, green toxic stuff. Who yeah. knows? Oh and my yeah. goodness! Look at this. Here's Snorkel here, and so we'll just run around this entire thing, like free reign, do whatever you want. But oh I'm gonna showcase God. another mechanic in this game that's like really important, and it's called uh, slope abuse. And so Banjo's shadow dictates whether he's gonna slip, like slide on a slope. And if we can manipulate that by, let's say, moving the shadow to the ground where it's not slippery, we can reset that slope timer and just keep climbing up certain things that uh, would be slippery. And so this hey, is slippery right here. So I slide down, but if I go on here, you, uh, put the shadow on the ground, I can just keep standing on this slope. As long as my shadow is either on on the ground or actually disappears, it can do that if you're high enough. Yeah. It, uh, we'll just reset the slope timer. And so you can you just can't, keep doing this. You can't really so, go higher than that point. Yeah. That's cool though. Mhm. Mm I didn't realize it was right. like based on the shadow underneath. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. It's a really, really like important mechanic. I'm gonna be doing it a lot during this showcase, so just wanted to. That's this is a good slope to do it on. Yeah, so here's yeah, yeah, yeah. Snorkel. Uh, don't bully Snorkel or he'll... Oh, maybe I didn't do it right, hold on. Don't uh, <laughs> hit Snorkel with Beak Buster, he, will, uh, he might do something to you. Let me see. Ah, oh. I'm not getting it. There we go. Oh! oh. I fall out of bounds, and now it's at the beginning again. Oh my gosh, And so Snorkel funny. got his revenge, so unfortunate. <laughs> And yep, now I'm gonna go into the this container room here, and we're gonna do another glitch. And I just gotta make sure to get. So if you know, so that I'm on the DDA file. So that glitch that I did to get here early is called Demo Desync Adventure. Right. And if I somehow game over, it's like I have to go back to file select and do the glitch again, and nothing saves. So I have to do it all over again. But that's fine because uh, what I'm gonna be showcasing will be easily like if I game over, I can just get back for a while. So that should be fine. Okay. But I'm gonna get this extra life just in case. I don't want that to happen. Nice. <laughs> so we don't and have so to like take time. Yeah. Something else you can do in this room is you can jump. Oh, I didn't get it. But you can jump over the loading zone and you can kind of get out of bounds. Ooh. See, like, here. Uh, it's kind of hard. You gotta get a really good uh, jump, but should be able to do it. Ah. No, take your time. Yeah. I'm so curious. Yeah, it's not gonna get it. Okay. I need to be like, I need to jump farther out. For, for those asking in chat, uh, yes, this is live. But if you're watching on YouTube, yeah. By the time you watch this on YouTube, it will not be live anymore. <laughs> yes, this is this live post AGDQ. <laughs> wow. Did they patch this? Xbox with the patch already? Come on. Did they <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh, an accident hit the loading zone. <laughs> Oops. Oh my gosh. Okay, oh, so but you to... got it for a second. Yeah. I'll do it. I'll try it one more time, but. Okay. Yeah, you need to, to like refill. refresh your yeah. air. I don't want to die. Right. <laughs> uh, fishy. Um. The N64. Okay, well. So so there's a question in chat about like is the N64 this broken as well or is it just the Xbox version? Oh yeah. Uh, the N64 so... version is it's broken, but it seems like this has some unique yeah. stuff too, right? Eighty percent. It's really broken uh, compared to N64. No, I did it again, but I. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Okay. Essentially, you jump over the loading zone and you can void out again. Okay. And, and yeah. And you can also walk underwater there, too, but we kind of already saw that, so it's fine. Sure. Right, 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 right. Which is super cool. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and now we're going to leave RBB. And so, yeah. We're going to be doing new things. Cool. But, yeah, RBB is closed. Uh, I didn't, I never opened it, so... It's close. Also, I need to mention, I have all the moves right now. I have 100 eggs, 50 feathers, 10 gold feathers, 
and 25 mumbo tokens. Oh, and the tokens. Yeah, and I don't have anything else unlocked. It's just that. Except I have a few, like, first-time flags, like, for picking up, a uh, like, a note or a feather or... Like, there's, like, a little text box that says, Hey, I'm the, you know, I'm the note. Uh, you collect 50 of us to open the next note door or something. So, yeah, I, I don't have those. All right, I have those already unlocked. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And this also... So, you actually need to... Pumpkin, you need to go into a shed, unlock the first water switch to even get here. And so right now, we're actually skipping that by going to the second water switch. And we're just oh. going to hit it. And now we have access pretty much to the entire lair <laughs> by doing that. We can and go so everywhere. We can, yeah, we can go pretty much anywhere we want at this point. But your jiggy count will still be low. Yeah, yeah. Specifically. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. So... You need to get a ton of a jiggies, but we actually won't be on this file for too long. We'll be switching to a really cool other glitch that may give us some more access to the lair. Okay. Let's see, so yeah, next glitch we're going to do here is we're going to be skipping this 640 note door. If Ooh. you can see it in frame once the cutscene happens. Mm -hmm. So there's a 640 note door right there. You need, yes. you know, 640 notes to open it up. I have like zero. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do one of those, like, uh, oh, yeah. speed clips. And if I go in the corner there, I'll clip through. There's going to be water here, so I don't actually fall out of bounds. And I can just use this to go right oh. into the loading zone. Into the loading zone, of course. Yep. So cool. Now we're now heading I... toward the best level. Yeah. The best level. <laughs> we won't be there be there yet, unfortunately. Oh, but, that's okay. Yeah. But, uh... What I'm gonna do? Oh, I need to activate the cauldron. Hold on. <laughs> there's a cauldron. Oh, here. cauldron. Yeah, there's a cauldron you can activate, and it's really nice because this cauldron actually goes to one, I think, in like the third room of the lair, and so that lets us pretty much get back here anytime we want, and that's really okay. important. So even though you've like exited a level and done things, basically because you haven't like saved and quit or anything, if you game over it here, you would have to, you would lose everything. Oh yeah, yep. I would okay. be it'd be over. Just double check. Gotcha. I'd have to go back into it and do everything again, Oof. which wouldn't be okay. too long, but yeah, but still, it'd be pretty. Yeah, it sucks when if you like die in any percent run and then you have to start it over. But yeah. Oh, I'd love to know as you're going along, kind of like which glitches are used mostly for just any percent or things used for 100 percent or you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the only like glitch I kind of showed off so far was DDA, which is the RB uh, Rusty Bucket Bay early, and so that's used ninety percent, and that's really useful. Okay. And yeah. All right. So next glitch is we're gonna get into a level early, and okay. there's a level over here called Freezy Z Peak, and we're going to be using this flight pad that spawns here to maybe I don't know clip out of bounds. Maybe that's the name of the show. I don't know. That'd be Perfect. nice. Yeah. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> Yeah, it might be, allegedly, yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, so we're gonna that. go up here. There's a switch up here you have to hit in order to actually spawn the flight pad. It's like a little, uh, like, puzzle, I guess you could say. Just running and, and uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. I didn't realize this was already open. No, I know you have to do this at one point. Yeah, so uh, this glitch that I'm about to do is, I think, used, yeah, and... Pretty much all categories in this game. It's pretty useful. You can clip out of bounds using this little ledge here. Oh. And, and that's pretty much kind of the same clip as the negative speed clip, but we're just generating a ton of positive speed. And now we're going to use that to enter Freezy Peak early. That's you know, so don't cool. have to open the level. Yeah. And there's like a boggy text box down here, but you can just kind of jump across it if you want to and just skip over <laughs> yeah he, he made his own mistakes <laughs> mm -hmm. um and yep so i guess i should ask now like is there a way to enter every stage early uh <laughs> yes except for oh. one actually okay and i'll just say it now it's the first level mumbo's mountain oh. Okay, gotcha. Also, this yeah. I've tried to do before, and I haven't gotten it to work either. Yeah, 
That's what you do, is you just hit the first uh, muncher, I think he's called, and then you just go into the corner and sit and cry and while oh. the cut or the <laughs> minigame's happening. I so feel like I, maybe, um, <laughs> yeah, well, you just get to chill, maybe have a sip of water. Yeah. I feel like, um, mm -hmm. like maybe the other spawn or something, there is like a little bit of a nuance to it to make sure yeah. that, but like, more they're of the just not, are Yeah, they're just not loaded since they're not on screen, so, mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, uh, so you can skip that entire mini game, and that's pretty fun. So do you yeah. have to? I love that one. Do you have to like make sure the camera is facing away from the other two when you beat the first one? Is that part of what keeps the others from spawning? Uh, yeah, just as long as the camera is not facing out the other two, uh, it sh okay. shouldn't. Yeah, it shouldn't mm. fail. Okay, gotcha. All right, so next thing is we're gonna just beak bomb right into the scarf here. And we're just gonna clip out of bounds, and I died. Oops, <laughs> I did not mean to do that, but that oh, works too. <laughs> yeah, but you can land on like the snowman's feet, and you can just kind of look around. But it's it's not too interesting. I'm gonna say you just might want to like glitch. grab another life or something. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll be fine. There's one back here, so we good. Oh, true. Okay, yeah. Yeah. But oh. next, for, I'm just gonna show like a little. Uh, I guess, mistake that the, the devs did with Ooh. designing this file. And Waza is just not here. He's just gone. He's what? on vacation. Yeah. He does not show up on the DDA file. So, and the reason for that oh. is because of the stop and swap cutscene that shows you the ice key. Uh -huh. They just deleted him using, that uses the same file as this one. And now oh. he's just gone. He's not even in the cave either. He's usually in here. If he's like he's not totally outside. gone. Is there yeah. is there a jiggy in here though? Uh, I think so. Uh, also, let's go, guys. Ice key. <laughs> let's go. I, I do like how they try to utilize that then in Tui. They just yeah. make it like a, just mm -hmm. a thing that you get, but it's cool. Yeah, this will probably shock most people here, but so these snowballs the Sir Slushes throw, uh, huh. you can actually just destroy them. And they will give you help. What? What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they give you infinite help too. I can just keep doing it and they will just spawn as much health as I want. And that's really yeah. useful for any percent for healing up again. That's changed my life. You just changed my life. I know. I know. <laughs> Every time I show somebody that, that's like a casual player, they're like, what? You can do that? That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh no, I'm yeah. fitting the stereotype. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna jump into this pool of icy water and we're gonna skip using the walrus transformation. And so okay. we're just gonna jump, we're gonna fall into the water in Talon Trot, oh. and we're just going to pal paddle our way over towards this honeycomb over here. How did you um get to fall down that low? So if you're in Talon Trot and you go into like icy water, toxic water, anything that doesn't allow you to like swim and instant damages you, you can just fall right through it if you're in Talon oh. Trot. Oh wow, okay cool. So, yeah. So, yeah, this is used in 100% to get the honeycomb, um, you know, with how he's in the walrus. And so yeah, and then, that's really useful. And then you, you like use that as a spot where yeah. you then will die so that you can um, get back to the beginning of the level. Kind of similar to yeah. like clankers. I'm just gonna make sure I got everything here. Oh, maybe one more thing. Do one more thing. So these slurs slushes here, they like recoil you back if you like hit them. You're supposed to like beak bomb into their X's and that will like kill them. But if you recoil into them while falling, uh, something interesting may, may happen. Okay. Looks like, like it. Every time you've been like, something cool might occur, and I'm like... It might, like, I don't know, maybe I fail it, I don't occur. know. <laughs> <laughs> you never know with these things, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I might, to like, I don't know, maybe I get teleported to, like, the final boss, I don't know. Oh! Uh, never know. You never no, know. I'm actually very curious. <laughs> whoa, whoa! And so you just kind of fall into the snowman, and Banjo... Kind of goes crazy, but then you can just <laughs> press A to get out of it. And you just like hop back out. That's awesome. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, that's a good question. Well, is is there an all transformations run? Uh, like to just get them. I guess. Or 
I don't, I mean, I, I think 100% uses all the transformations anyways, except for the termites. That can be skipped, and maybe I'll show that mm -hmm. off soon. <laughs> That's, so. I feel like this is classic Banjo. Yeah. Glitch, yeah. Or skip, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna go down the lair now, and we're just gonna go back to the start. Yeah, can you all raise your hands in chat if you did not know that you could get health from the snowballs? Because I feel like a number of people in chat are like, what? wait, what? Yeah. They're doing the same I'm thing. So glad I put that in. I'm so glad I put that in. <laughs> Me that's, too. <laughs> that's a good little tidbit there. Listen, yeah, so we're listen gonna... chat. We expected this game to be broken. We didn't expect to learn a new fun fact that has nothing to do with the glow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, you can kind of just skip through every oh. note door, just if go you, through it. If you go backwards through them though, can you not go forwards again? Yeah, they're, they're, they block you off. But this is oh, why no. this cauldron down here is important. Because oh, this right. lets you go right back up to the uh, Click Clock Woods lobby. That's right, because you already did that one. Mhm. Mm and you can just get back up there. And that's really nice, because that skips pretty much every note door up until this uh, 640 note door. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna go just, down. Just just use an any percent, or would you use this on a hundred percent? Uh, so the, so Waza not spawning actually doesn't make this viable for uh one hundred percent because this jiggy doesn't spawn, and so. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it'd be like you can get every jiggy in the game except that one, and so that's why it's not used in a hundred percent. Yeah. But it's using any percent because you know you can. You don't have to get out with the collectibles, which is nice. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It was like we've still seen we've seen absolutely zero notes collected. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, in chat. Yeah, none. <laughs> we'll be generating a ton of notes though. Maybe soon. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> Always so mysterious. Okay. Yeah. And so what I we're gonna it. do here is just do one of those clips again. You can fall through the grounds and void out. Oh. Just kind of a simple clip, nothing too special. Doesn't oh, really cool. do anything, but okay, yeah, it just resets cool. you back in the room. It's just, yeah. it's just like an extra. Mm -hmm. So is it just Insane. jumping into it in the right way? Yeah, you're just kind of hanging on the slope, and you're just generating like a ton of speed. I think you go like negative four thousand units per Whoa. second. So just it's by pretty hanging there. I, or it might be velocity. I don't know, but yeah. And so okay. yeah, you can get this jiggy right now. And so, you actually, getting a Jiggy in RBB makes it so that the cutscene that says, Hey, I'm a Jiggy, you can collect 10 of us in each world or whatever, doesn't actually play. Oh! So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, something else interesting is that, hey, we're, now we're back in Spiral Mountain. Uh, we don't actually have to do anything in Spiral, because all the molehills are, you know, are activated, the bridge is, uh, you know, set, all that stuff. And huh. so, if we go back into the lair, the cutscene plays. <laughs> what? And so you... you can't normally skip this unless you do Demo Desync Adventure. And so I'm just gonna oh. skip it. Yeah, just thought that was pretty cool. I was like, for a, for a second I thought you would just like game over somehow because of that. No. But never mind, okay. No. I think we're done now for DDA. I think we're gonna go back to... I think I'm about to restart the game here, right? Yeah, I'll sign in and restart. Yep. Okay. That should be good. Also, a cool little thing you can do here is, in, like, instead of going through the Xbox menu here... Did my game just crash? What? Oh, okay, <laughs> That's never happened. Alright, game's crashing. Let's let's just quit out and go back in. I That's yep. never happened before. We got a that's never happened joking. before moment? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's no. I've never had... Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. On one of my last episodes, I had on Maxi Lobes for um, some scary games, and in one of them... Something happened to the game where it just started deloading portions of the levels. And it was like it carried on for the rest of the game. Like he would walk into certain rooms or certain areas of the game and it would just be like half of the area would just be like empty, void, black, like nothing. It was super weird. Wow. Um, so don't worry. We have plenty of those moments on the show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I, yeah, right. I'm going to go into another file I have. It has more uh, game files on it. Uh huh. That lets us do a glitch that's really cool. And maybe notes will just appear out of nowhere. I don't know. You never <laughs> notes know. Will just I'm, just be there. I'm just trying to be. 
serious as possible. I gotta keep you on the edge of your seat. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I gotta wait for my internet connection to uh, sign me in. This is what kind of sucks about the Xbox version. You gotta wait, but it's okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Sink okay. in my cloud storage. Let's go. All right. <laughs> and so I have. What is going on? Okay, there we go. What is <laughs> my game is just bugged, I guess. All right. Uh, so I think we're gonna go. What file are we going into? All right, this one. And so this is a file. I just I hacked it on my X360 and transferred it over to my Xbox One. But it has like all the levels unlocked. It has, you know, that jiggy there, and it's not supposed to be there. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the one of the last places in the game, Furnace Fun. Oh, okay. Yeah, Fern is fun. Not very fun, but it's, you know. It's not, it's not very fun. Yeah. One of my you least favorite nightmare, parts of the RNG, like, you know, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, and you have to yeah. remember all of, like, the, the grunty questions and... Yeah. yeah. Well, thankfully, we don't have to do that in the speed run. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. We could maybe we could be answering granny questions. I don't know. All right, we're gonna find out. But uh, so yeah. But what we're gonna be doing here is a classic skip in this game. This is probably I would say the most popular glitch in this game. It's called yeah. uh, Nimpalk Skip, found by Nimpalk. Shout out to him. He's really cool. He uh, found a way to go into that death score right there and go into Talent Trot. And doing that makes it so when you get the answer wrong, it'll actually not push you into the fire. And so. What happens during death squares is that it will just insta kill you. Yes. And there is a one pixel gap in between each one of these squares where you can actually use moves. And that's just because the game reading is not my There we go. Okay. There's like a one pixel gap. I'll probably just do like right here. You can do any move, but the best one to do is talent drop. Okay. I can get it. If it's I can just do it on the death square, but I just want to show it works on other tiles too. This is kind of hard. I'm not used to this tile. Yeah, it's fine. We can just keep going. Okay, just just like really specific timing. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, these are really nice on on Xbox because it just insta loads the picture question. Oh so yeah, you cause you don't have to deal with that. Yeah. Yeah, like no lag, no nothing on this version, which is really nice. Uh, All the groups on. Oh, that was fast. Yep. <laughs> That's an egg. Cool. And so we're gonna do that same thing over here where we're just gonna try to get into Talon Trot uh, while on the death square. And if we answer the question wrong, it will try to push us into the lava, but it won't. Oh, there! There we go. And so, yeah, that's not Gobi's Peak, so I think we're good on that front. And so that lets us skip the entire board. We can go do whatever we want. So cool. Yeah. You can just hop across like it's a little platformer. Yeah. Right to the end. There's no collision here, so you can just kind of... <laughs> bully Grony. Uh, Tootie's right. over here, too. No collision come on, Tootie. either. Oh, come on, Come on. Hurry. You know what? I want, this. I want yeah. the prize on the left, actually. No prize on the left? All right, but... <laughs> Stuck in the washing machine. Alright, uh, so the next thing we're gonna do, we're actually not gonna skip, go into like the granny fire or anything. We're gonna go into a timer square. So I think like the best one is probably this one over here. Yeah, this one. So we're gonna go into this. Okay, cool. So, in the Xbox version only, notes save. Uh, so if you die, they actually won't reset. And that's really, really like, that's really great, like for like a casual. So you don't uh, have to like get them again, and so w they accidentally made it so that they spawn in furnace, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and you can collect them, and they're here, and I'm just gonna collect them, and now we just gotta wait for this to be over, but uh, they actually never are saved in here, so I can just go back and get them again, and just go back and get them again, and do oh it until God. I have as many notes as I want. So, that's what we're gonna do here. 
Interesting. And, yeah, unfortunately, I just gotta wait because you know this is a, they're they're all timer based, so you gotta just chill. Yeah. Let's wait again. All right, so. Now we have four notes stored. We collected the four in Sandcastle, now we still have them. And now we're in BGS, and so there are six notes in this room that we can get. Uh -huh. And... Just gotta wait for these guys to finish. And we can collect these. And so now, we're gonna have ten. And so that applies right. to, to Bubble Gloop Swamp. And so now we have 10 notes in Bubble Goop Swamp without collecting them. Like, oh. any actual level. And so it will store in there. And so if we go into Bubble Goop Swamp, and we collect all the notes, we can get more than 100. And so that's really, really powerful. Interesting. Yeah. It's like I just gotta wait again. Yeah. Um, Will, chat wants to know if there, if there is any chance we'll get to see the old first one skip. Uh, I actually don't know how to do that. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, no. I joined the game, like, I joined speedrunning the game, like, after Nimpulk was found, so... I know, I think you have to, like, go into the corner of, like, this desk or up here, like this one right in front of us, and then... Um, yeah, and then you just answer the question wrong, it will throw you into the board, and you won't, um... Yeah, you won't die. So yeah, that's Got pretty you. cool. And so what I'm gonna do now is can I okay cool. So now I'm gonna set up a glitch. It's called Furnace Fun Moves, and it lets us uh, take moves from this file and put them into another file. And so there's an N64 method where you go into the mini game question or whatever and you die with zero lives, but there's an exclusive Xbox method that you can do. And what oh. you can do is you can go on to the, a picture question, read the picture question, sign out. And now, I have FFM activated. So I don't have to do any of the dying beforehand, and so this is really, really fast, and this is what 100% runners do on Xbox, and it, it's really, really cool. So a side effect of this is that this grunny text will just be here during the intro concert and demo, and it will show the, like, default camera position, and so it will just stay there until we press start. And the grunny text will disappear, uh, in the demo, but I'm just gonna sign into my other account, okay. my main account, and something interesting will happen in Fossilite. Ooh, okay. If it would load. <laughs> there we go. And so the granny text is here in Fossilite, and so it will just pers persist in here, up until we create a new file. And so... Which file am I going to use? Probably this one. So yeah, even if I have like, you know, the delete text or whatever for the file, it will just persist until Still there. we get a new file. Okay. And so, uh, Furnace Fun Moves activates by going into, uh, I guess, Grunty's Lair, like the specific level index of Grunty's Lair. Okay. And so I just wanted to mention that, yes, this is in, like, it shows Grunny's Lair here, but this is actually part of the intro cutscene level index, and so this cutscene right here is actually not happening in Granny's Lair, and that's why FFM does not activate during runs like that, and so, yeah. So yeah, I don't have the moves right now. But, oh. what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna talk to bottles. And something to mention is that Xbox can't skip text, so I actually have to listen to all this stuff, but it's okay because loading zones actually save a ton of time and that pretty much, like, uh, makes it even. Negates for, uh, uh, the text yeah. boxes. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm taking so... notes right now. I'm taking notes. <laughs> yeah. And so, I just gotta watch this. Um, enjoy the music. But I'm gonna do something that speedrunners usually don't do. And I'm gonna just press A here, so I learn all the moves. Or, don't learn all the moves. I have to go to the individual bottles locations to learn the moves in Spiral Mountain. Okay. So I have no moves right now, and so what I have to do here is I have to just go learn them, but maybe there's a way I can skip learning all of them. Maybe I just, have, maybe I just only have to learn a few. Okay. And so uh, I'm going to just learn them, and we're going to see what happens. Interesting. What I'm gonna do is skip. 
And so I gotta do all this. Unfortunately, yeah, you can't skip text. You could skip all this text in 964, but... Right. This actually loses time, though. If this was in, like, 100% speedrun, I guarantee you probably wouldn't negate the loading zones or whatever, but... Yeah. You just gotta listen to them. And I'm just chilling. It's okay. Yep. Alright. And so I just need, I think, two more moves. I haven't done this in so long, I forgot what the text was from bottles for these yeah, areas. Yeah. Like, speedrunners like, that are watching right now, that do BK speedruns, are like, what? You're doing this right now? Like, nobody does this. <laughs> yeah, nobody <laughs> yeah, does, just... yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, so we're gonna learn these because they're important for the skip. I think I okay. could do it without these moves, but it's gonna be harder, so I'm just gonna do them anyways. That makes uh, sense to me. I mean, I think it will make sense yeah. when I see it all. Yeah. Sure. So I'm just gonna... Oh, I missed. Nice. There we go. Alright, come on, bottles. Gotta love the text. <laughs> Try another. Woohoo. Yeah, moving back and like to and from N64 and stuff. It's kind of hard without the skipping text, but... Yeah, yeah I'm sure. Was... But again, it seems, the Xbox definitely has its own... Advantages. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so, Bottles wants us to, like, you know, kill the enemy, but we're not going to. We're just going to ignore him. And we're going to go up here. Because <laughs> I just wanted the roll move. Oh, I forgot I don't have the peck move. <laughs> There's oh, some speedrun uh, uh, muscle memory going wrong there. <laughs> yeah, I don't have Ratatat wrap, so I can't do that. Sure. Right, I'm going to attempt Bottle Skip. Bottles is going to want to talk to us here. But I'm going to try to skip his... Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. So we're just gonna hop right over him and he won't talk to us. Okay. And next thing we're gonna do is that there is an invisible like wall here preventing us from getting into the uh, lair early. Okay. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a ton of like slope abuse uh, across her chin here and then we're gonna go into the mountain. And oh. so shadow on the flat ground, shadow on the flat ground, I'm not slipping and I'm gonna water over here and so oh missed it that's okay Is, oh Shout nice recovery yeah and then now we should slide but we're gonna jump up here and this part is not slippery and so what we can do oh. here is we can make our way over here this camera's kind of wacky but we're gonna no please no oh my oh, gosh no! i missed it yeah, <laughs> by barely but you can go through the teeth and you can just skip it but um let's do that that's again cool. It didn't take too long to set up, so we're good. Yeah. Gotta skip bottles again, though. <laughs> That's fair. I hope that wouldn't work. Oh. I did not get a good enough jump. There we go. Nice. Skip over it. Right. Okay, here we go. Do it again. Alright, we're gonna jump. Jump again. Jump again. We're back here. We can jump up here. There we go. Nice. Very nice. And oh, very nice. Into the lair early. And so now FFM is still in the background. So if I leave Grunty's lair right now, it will activate. So I have all the moves. Oh. I have uh, that one, the gold feathers. I have eggs. I just can't use them because I don't have any consumables. Right. But you have everything mm. now. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Do you have mm -hmm. to get enough? Bottles moves to um, allow you to get up the mountain and yeah, like, get bottles and then mm -hmm. at the top and then uh... yeah, if we wanted to, we could go up here and like go to the fifty note door and but we don't have any notes, so we have to go into Mumbo's. Gotcha. And so we're actually gonna have to get some notes finally. You know, it's time. It's time. happening. Yeah. Because now we're going forward and not backward. Yeah. And so, yeah, now I have to listen to this again. No, no skipping text, so. Okay, but, that's yeah. true. <laughs> yeah. A lot Yay. of time to reach out, though. Like, when you're doing runs, you can just oh, reach out while that's happening. Oh, yeah, like, anytime the cutscenes happened or the text happens. Yeah. That's good. Oh, my God, when you said, now it's time to read chat, my brain is still in HDQ mode, and I was like, oh, time for <laughs> donations? Okay, cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> I was like, yeah, let me pull him up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. And so I need to get Mumbo tokens. That's another like collectible I need to get for the showcase. Okay. And those let's let us transform into transformations. And I'm, I'm just, just gonna... expecting. Now I'm just like get basically these. like, okay, good, we're doing a hundred percent run now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, let's just go through the, enti the entire game total, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't skip to this either, so I gotta, gotta wait. Alright. No, 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 don't start with me. I don't have and any- so... I can't read up anything. Here we go. Get that. I'm just gonna get- I need two Jiggies, and I don't need any more, I think. Do I? Okay. No. Sounds good. Uh, nah, I'm gonna get those notes. I'll get the ones down here, but... Okay, into Termite Tower. So, there's a glitch that lets you scale the Termite Tower. Unfortunately, it's patched on Xbox. Oh, so, no! I say qu patched in quotation marks, though. You can still do it, but you have to do frame-perfect TAS jumps. So what's happening here is that... Since this slope was chained so that it just automatically lets you slide, you can no longer do slope abuse up this. So what you uh, what, what you have to do now is you have to do a midair jump in talent drop. So I'll try to do it. And so you can kind of get up there. I've only gotten to the top once on Xbox. So it's extremely difficult. You have to do like nine frame perfect inputs and it's ridiculous. I absolutely hate it. It's it sucks. But yeah, we can't do that at- I mean, we can, but it's like TAS only, but yeah. You can't really do it in an RTA speedrun. Gotcha. Yeah. I- this makes me want to watch a TAS now in this game as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, there's not a lot of Xbox TASs with- I mean, there isn't any, because we don't have any, like, really good tools to make any. Sure, I'm but this is the version, I guess. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I guess, I like... guess you wouldn't need to do- those jumps then mm -hmm. on the X on the N64 version, so it doesn't. Yeah. Kind of so meaningless. that specifically isn't like patched on Xbox. It's actually patched on NTSC 1.1 of the N64 version, and so it's just on here because it uses the latest version. Gotcha. And so yeah, uh, I think we're done for numbers. Yeah, not a lot in here, so pretty just standard level. We're just gonna leave it. Gotcha. And I think, that's I, got, where, I think I got um, 50 notes. Wait, also let me mention is that a lot of, there's like a lot of confusion whether this is patched to get up here to get this jiggy early. It's not. You can still do it on Xbox or uh, NTSC 1.1. You just oh, get nice. up there and get the jiggy like that. I didn't Very cool. But yeah. You can still do it. They didn't change it, so. Cool. Good to know. Yep, so there you all. There, there you go, everyone. You can mm -hmm. get that jiggy. Yep. Yep, we're going to open the 50 note door, and this is all the notes we need. Uh, what? What do, you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. We may not be getting more notes. Okay. Yeah, may not. <laughs> but yeah. And so, we actually have to open up TTC. There is a method of getting into Treasure Trove Cove early, and it involves a lag clip. We're playing on the Xbox version, so no lag clips because the game doesn't lag. Mm -hmm. And so, we have oh. to just go into the level. Also, I gotta remember to activate this cauldron. This is important. <laughs> very, very important. All right, cool. Oh, good. And... Um, I have another question. Um, <laughs> chat's asking if I, I guess it's like does does any of this work on Switch? The Switch version. Uh, yes, yeah. Most of the things. If I don't, if I say it's like NTSC one point one, then it works on Switch because Switch is actually based on that version. Okay. And so we actually have to resort to playing on the uh, European version, the PAL version, because that actually doesn't have the termite skip uh, patch or whatever. So, gotcha. That's kind of interesting. And so that version is actually really cool. It has a lot of unique glitches in it. Mm hmm. But, yeah. Uh, so, first things first. All right. Let's go over here. I actually, okay, I found this today, <laughs> so this is like a really, really like new glitch. I found it like three hours ago, but <laughs> you can attack you here, him that way. Oh yeah, you could just attack him and he'll back off. Yeah. What? Yeah. I also didn't know that. I'm very silly. 
so yeah, I'm just gonna make him back off. But so Shark Food Island is here because I have stop and swap enabled, and you can just kind of go underneath the island here. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, it's just open. You can just go underneath it, and you're kind of out of bounds, and you can just go into this loading zone. Nothing too crazy with that, but they just left that open for anybody to go in. I found like, that like who who would today. try to swim under it if you already have it yeah. activated? Yeah, they didn't like. They didn't. I don't know. They didn't make the collision right. I don't know. Yeah. All right. I'm just gonna need some feathers because I probably need them for later. Or kind of right now because I'm in treasure trove. Oh, I gotta fly around. True. All right. Uh, I next took... thing. Uh huh. I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was just gonna say I took the time as a kid to memorize like so many of the cheats that you can put in. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, those area. are actually those are bant. Do I have any eggs? Oh my gosh, I don't have any eggs. <laughs> uh -oh. So that's what's kind of sucks about furnace fun moves. If if you unlock the move early, you don't get the refill on talking to bottles, and so you need to go get some. Oh gotcha. Yeah. So actually, I'm not gonna get those because there's a glitch there. I need them for uh, accidental collection note. No, <laughs> I'm trying to avoid the notes. <laughs> no, it's not bad, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid them. I'm not to show to that we anymore. like don't need them. Yeah. All right. Um, so we just need two. Okay. But what we can do here is we can poop legs or poop legs, poop eggs uh -huh. <laughs> into Leaky. And if you have the Xbox menu open and you watch this cutscene and you close it before the cutscene ends in the sandcastle, you oh. get pause overlap glitch, the glitch that we got in the beginning of the showcase. Uh -huh. And so I'm going to show an application of pause overlap glitch. And so I think I don't need to go on, yeah, I can't go on leaderboard. Usually you would go on leaderboard because you're, you'd be on like the demo DSIC adventure file and that doesn't connect to the internet. So you just kind of have to go into instructions to like make it so I don't accidentally, you know, get out of the menu or whatever. Sure. And yeah, we're going to go back in the level because I got to spawn Leaky back in. And so, something to mention is that inside the leaky cutscene, like in, in the interior of the sandcastle, when it shows you it's it, it's like uh, the water level's going down, uh -huh. is that Banjo's actually present in that cutscene. And so, oh. if there's a way to extend that cutscene, we can actually spawn in the sandcastle early. So what we can do here is... We have no eggs. Oh, do we have no eggs? Oh my gosh, you're right. <laughs> you I was supposed to get some in Mumbo's. Yeah, I need to go get some more. That's... Oh. Okay, that's fine. I need to go... Right here, get these. These are just the fastest. And yeah. And we are gonna we're gonna do this again. This time we're gonna have exit game open. So what exit game does is it forces a game over. And if we poop eggs into leaky, so that's fine. I didn't mean to exit out of the menu, but we're good. And cutscene happens. I'm gonna press exit game as soon as possible here. I'm in the sandcastle, and now I can exit the sandcastle, and now I get teleported all the way over here. What? And so that is, yeah, and so that allows us to warp using cutscenes. And that's really oh. broken, and yeah, that is one of the major developments in any percent over the past year is using warps to maybe warp out of a witch switch cutscene in order to duplicate nodes. I don't know, like it could happen. But it's uh, it's very broken. It actually saves about twenty minutes in any percent. So well, over okay. So are you gonna show us other areas that we can use that to take advantage? Because that just yeah. put us outside of the castle. I was like, which mm -hmm. that didn't seem to save any time there. It just looked cool. Yeah. I was just showing that off because it's like a really easy way of, of doing it. You can do that pretty much any time. Uh, the problem with doing it on the witch switches in like a live setting is that if I fail it, uh, the game's off once. <laughs> and so I'm gonna do that on the emulator. I'm gonna show you all the different oh, okay. warps later in the showcase. Cool. So yeah. So something we can do here is if we look, I think, in this direction, and we right here. Oh, oops. If I can't get this, it's fine. But so this is another oh like. Yeah, one of those like hover things. Yeah. What do they call again? And this oh. is kind of hard because you actually get put back in bounds really fast because of the, of the water. So you need to kind of okay, give press it some time. X as soon as possible. Yeah. Ah. Oh, oh almost. Saw you clip through for a second. 
Yeah, it's a bit finicky, but... Ah! I think it's too early. There, there we go. go. Okay. Oh. So now I'm underneath the TC and I'm swimming. Just, I gotta make sure I don't fall down. Uh, and if I go over here, oh Snacker will come and get me. Really? Yes, hopefully. There he is. Okay. And now he's on land. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> and now he's back in the water. Oh, yeah, it's a little disappear. Yeah, just a little cool uh, glitch you can do there with Snacker. That's cool. Yeah. Get about on that land shark. Yeah. Land shark time. I love that. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So next thing we're gonna do is a way to skip actually using the flight move. This is used in a category called flightless. It's pretty cool. You just do all TTC without flight. You can do it. But if you do slope abuse up here, roll, jump over here to the left, slide down, does a. You can just make your way up here. And skip the need for the flight move. Oh and my god! That was fast. And yeah, yeah, I got pretty good at that because I was doing flightless like uh, a couple days ago. But yeah, that's kind of hard to do if you like never done it before. But now we're gonna do a clip. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get mumbo tokens because I need them. <laughs> There's some people in chat who are very excited. You don't want any more eggs? Um, uh, I don't think so. I don't need any more eggs. I can get these though if I need there them. There you go. People in chat who are like really excited about the flightless mansion. <laughs> the flightless mansion? Oh yeah, that's probably some of our community members. Yeah. But yeah, flightless is awesome. Definitely try it out. <laughs> it's cool. Alright, so now what we're gonna do is... This was actually recently found like a couple days ago. At least not the oh. clip, but the method of like getting to a specific area with this. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to run across the slope and we're generating, generating a ton of negative speed here. And we're just going to try to clip. This is kind of hard. But we're going to generate a ton of speed. We're going to look left. We're going to clip out of oh. bounds. And we can flutter all the way over to this chest and get this jiggy without flying. Also no flying. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. So you, need, you actually need flight in order to get this, typically. Right, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I get this mumbo token. That's really cool. Huh. Yeah, that's a really cool little thing you can do. And I love you can that. Get, and using that, you can get every single collectible in this entire stage, uh, except that one, I think. Or maybe I think everything above the sand or the lighthouse you can't get. Pretty much, yeah. But you can get everything else. Gotcha. Uh, all right. So next thing, I'm just gonna get mumbo tokens because they are very important. Come <laughs> welcome. And I'm gonna do a little thing called a, a quick dive here. What you can do is if you exit Talon Trot while going into water, you will just sink underneath the water. And it's really fast and it allows you to get this honeycomb really easily. Oh wow. You can get that without having to deal with Snacker. I mean you still are, but he's not as uh not as bad. Yeah, he's a little farther away. That makes sense. Yeah, and so yeah, I think that's it for TTC for now. Oh no, I need Maybe to get some, There was a chest with eggs in it that you were going to use for something. Right, yes, I almost forgot about that, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So, there is a, a chest filled with eggs, and this is the only instance of this, but there is a out-of-bounds egg you can actually see if you click oh. out-of-bounds. And so yeah, that's like the only out-of-bounds collectible in the entire game. I'm also gonna get- I forgot these mumbo tokens in this chest, too, I think. Did I go in here? I don't even remember. <laughs> no, I you didn't. didn't. Yeah, those are like two mumbo tokens. Those are- that's a really nice, uh, spot. Yeah. But, so what we're gonna do here is- I'm gonna try- I don't know why, but I was really consistent at this, like, a week ago, at this clip. But for some reason, it's just not been working for me lately. So okay. hopefully we get a first try. I- I hope so, too. Yeah. I gotta get up here to get to a flight pad. Okay. And we're gonna use one of these, uh, I believe, like, yeah, these stairs to, uh, clip out of bounds. So we're gonna try right here. 
Dang it. Okay. Oh. We'll try it one more time. Okay. I have. I think I have an alternative me method to get to the egg. Okay. Yeah. I'm excited. We uh, can get over there. But yeah, this kind of sucks because that clips is like it's. I don't know why it was really easy when I like first you know was playing around with it, but just I don't know. It gets harder and harder, I guess. Right. Exactly. Um. Mm -hmm. Like, the more that stuff is developed over time, like, mm -hmm. just, it just adds more skill. And this game has been around for a long time with, like, a pretty big community, so, let's see. Ah, why is that not working? I swear that would work. I just, I, the thing that sucks with that clip is that you can't really tell if it works or not. And so, yeah, I'll just do an alternative method, that's fine. Okay. So we can actually use this clip over here to uh, get to the egg. Oh, this one here. Yeah. All right. Nice. I think I got that first try. I gotta make sure. So in this game, if you go over the water plane, you'll stay in swimming, but... Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> so that happens if, if... If there's no water plane above you, you'll just fall out of bounds. It, it kind of sucks. But... I'll try one more time. If if not, it's fine. I can actually, you know what? Instead, I'm I'm gonna show you how to collect it. Okay. So that's a good backup. So I was actually trying to like find a way to collect it like for the longest time, and there's just a really easy method you can do here. And so this is an egg filled with, with eggs, or chest full of eggs. Chest filled with eggs. <laughs> and, it's an egg with yeah. eggs. <laughs> yeah. And so you can just beak bust oh. in there and you collect it. And there's an extra egg. Yeah. So yeah, that is really, really cool. So it's just barely yeah. below that plane. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to make sure I... Actually, I'm just going to leave the level and come back in. Okay. I'm going to actually purposely crash the game. <laughs> so I don't want the save to be destroyed. <laughs> perfect. This is... That's yeah. perfect then. And then we can like get up and take a quick break after after we yeah. crash it. <laughs> that's actually that sounds perfect. Good. That's perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm just, I think I need a little bit more feathers to actually crash it, because I might have used a lot. Yeah. If not, that's fine. We can... It's still cool if it doesn't crash. But there's these yum-yums. What they're programmed to do is they're supposed to, like, drop your eggs and, and feathers. But if you're in a, in a cutscene state while that happens... Do I have eggs? Yeah, I do, because I got some in the chest. Nice. Okay. Uh... Aha! If you poop eggs into leaky here, and... You oh, oh no, come on. Come over here. Uh why is he eating the Okay, so what basically what what happened there is that he would just uh like attack you and you'll just spill eggs and eggs and eggs up until like the game crashes sometimes if you have enough. Oh, can but we try one more did time? It or? Yeah, we can do it one more time, yeah. That works. I wanna, I wanna see if it'll work. Yeah. Gotta leave a level. What's nice about this version is that insta loads, so you can just go right back in. No problems. There, is there a, a, a nipper skip? <laughs> nipper skip? Oh, we could do that. I mean, I, yeah, we can do that. There's a nipper skip that you can do here where you can... Oh, and I accidentally... <laughs> I messed it up. <laughs> I, you're not, you don't usually approach nipper from that way in speedruns, so I kind of forgot. But that's fine. Yeah, we can do that quickly. That should take okay. like a minute, and then we can do the the uh, crash. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All That's right. excited so. now. <laughs> <laughs> the mysterious nipper or skip. Uh huh. All right, so okay, let me make sure to not activate his text box. Okay, there we go. And so you just go above nipper here, and so nipper doesn't actually have a hit box. It's just like a hurt box. So he'll hurt you, but if you go in town truck, go down here, skip the cutscene, whack him from the inside, he'll just oh, die instantly. Oh yeah, that's right. You just sort of kind of like stand yeah. inside of him. So you just have mm -hmm. to, you actually have to like try to actually hurt him from in there, right? Or does it just mm -hmm. do it? Yeah, you have to hurt them. Yeah, yeah, you have to hurt him in there. Yeah. Okay, so it's not just like just hurting him because you're standing in his hitbox. box. Yeah, yeah, you actually have to, like, peck at them and stuff, yeah. Okay. Alright, now let's see if we can crash the game. 
All right, let's do it. Let's get it. Yeah, that's cool. So I will. Wait, where is our yum yum? I need him. Come over here. <laughs> yeah, my buddy. All right, I'm going to. Is he close here. enough? I think so. No, come over here. What are you doing? <laughs> He can't get to you. He's on a mine and his own. That has never happened. I swear it always works. <laughs> I don't understand time. why that happens. Yeah, one more time. It. That is like one of the easiest tricks too. Like it's crazy. He's yeah. just having a mind of his own today. It really is. He's yeah. just hanging. Over here, I got some yum yums for you. Come on! All right. Apparently, there was an also there was also an invisible molehill thing. Oh, is Trep saying that? <laughs> I think uh, so. I don't know actually yeah. how to do that. I think you can. I think you just go in first person and then. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. That was actually. I think he found that today. Gotcha. But if you go in first person, I think, and you press X to listen to bottles, you'll go invisible. It's okay, not gotcha. like too cool, but just go invisible. All right, come over here, yum yum. What are you doing, dude? Let's go. All right. So hopefully that works. There we go. All right, he'll oh. just start eating me away, and everything will just spawn in. And I guess he didn't hit me enough, so the game didn't crash. But that's okay. There's ah. just a ton of feathers on the ground now. Oh, it was yeah. so weird. Yeah, here, I'll try to do something that does crash the game. Hold on. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> if you go into view totals and press uh, help and option, help and options at the same time, sometimes the game will crash, sometimes it won't. I don't know, we'll see. Come on. Oh. I think this might be frame perfect. It's just like the, the one that we did at the beginning. Oh, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. Why aren't oh. you crashing? Oh. <laughs> Thought I heard the music start to go. Yeah. It's so fast. I know. What? Could have worked. <laughs> Alright, if this doesn't work, it's fine. Oh gosh, why? Hey, please, we want to see it. Please. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so hold it's on. really specific. Yeah. Maybe I'll try it the other way. Helping options oh. to view totals. What? Why is this not working? There we oh, go. There, there we go. <laughs> we got it. Crashed. Yeah. Go. <laughs> so I guess the game just doesn't know what to do and it crashes. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, yep. perfect. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Alright, everyone. Don't worry. We are not done with the show yet. We have more show coming up in a few minutes, but we like to take breaks here on Hot Fix Wellness Breaks. So we will be back in a few minutes. Um, I'm glad you all are enjoying the kind of HEDQ um, like revisits so far. Uh, I think it's really cool that that's happening. And anything I want to let you all know? Um... Yeah, if you if you missed AGDQ and you want to rewatch um, some of your favorite runs, you can check out our full playlist over on YouTube. So you can also do that after the show is over. Uh, but we'll be showcasing all of the event here on the Twitch channel, um, leading up to our hotfix shows this week. So you all can check out more stuff there. Um, we got UBAF coming up uh, in like a month. Yeah, all kinds of good stuff. Cool. So we will be right back. We're gonna get like the game all fixed up and the sound all fixed up. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and we will be the game. exactly yeah so we'll get that all up and we'll be back in a few minutes hello everyone we are back with more out of bounds i am kung fu fruit cup and if you are just joining us tsr stormed has been taking us through the journey of banjo kazooie glitches and it's been awesome did you know also that you can break the snowballs <laughs> <laughs> 
that gets thrown at you by the by the snowman in Freeze Easy Peak and it gives you health because I yeah. didn't. Um, that's one of the many things we've learned, but there have been awesome glitches so far. This game is super broken in some really cool ways. And we're getting to see the differences like what the Xbox has to offer. Talking about the N64 version, we're going to see another kind of thing as well to help us um, just see the max amount of glitches possible. So anyway, count us back in TSR and take us through more of this All game. Right. What do we have next? Uh, next, we're going to be breaking this game wide open. <laughs> so <laughs> Really? Uh, <laughs> yeah, so we've only been to two levels so far. We have so many more levels to get to. There is a way to get to those levels really fast. And, okay. and yeah, all right, so I'll start the countdown, I guess. Uh, three, two, one, go. All right, so to go uh, forward into the lair, we have to actually go backward. We actually have to go into Spiral Mountain. And we're going to have to say hello to our friend Bottles and play his little mini game. It's, I think it's called Bottles Bonus. I think that's what the minigame's called, but it's it's essentially like the Banjo Tooie like level opening like minigame, but it's in Banjo. So, what you can do here is just go in first person, look at Bottles. He'll be like, Yeah, you found my secret moving picture game. And, what? and so, yeah. I you didn't know this was a thing either. Oh, okay. This is going to be a surprise then. So, <laughs> there's this demo, just like our demo D Sick Adventure demo where banjo will be walking around and so what i gotta do here is actually just do three of these i think three yeah three of these puzzles two we yeah oh and so it's just two we oh yeah I, this is beta you know uh banjo two basically right wiggy now. wiggy yeah oh my gosh they were like hey let's reuse this feature we already made it mm -hmm. huh. yeah yeah even the hand, I'm pretty sure, is like the same model for Tui. Like, <laughs> so they used a lot of things from this in Tui. But yeah. yeah, there's like nine of these puzzles you can do. They all like vary in the different. Like, I think this next one is gonna be Freezy Peak. So we're gonna be walking oh, around music. Freezy Peak. Yeah. And yeah, these. Are, I'm, I haven't done these in a while, but there's a category that does this glitch, and I've done in a while, but it, it's. Pretty cool, the glitch we're about to do. Uh, and so yeah, we just gotta finish these puzzles. Okay. But yeah, what's going on here is so this is actually not like a like a video file. It's Banjo actually moving around inside Freezy Peak. We're we're in Freezy Peak right now. Oh. And if we were in Rusty Bucket Bay, we'd be in Rusty Bu Bucket Bay. If we were in Click Clock Wood, we'd be in Click Clock Wood. And so, what we can do here. Is finish out this. Whoa, okay. I, why does hand move so fast? That like <laughs> flew across the screen. Yeah, I know. I've never seen that. I, huh. What? <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, we got to do the next one. This, are, this will be our final one. But yeah, this one's in Rusty Bucket Bay. And so we have to do this one. These are, this is, this is when it gets a little bit harder where like you have to flip the pieces. You don't actually have to do that in 2e, except for, I think, like, the final puzzle. And so, yeah. Oh. You gotta flip them now. Oh my gosh, and this, this wasn't, this, this is in the this N64 is, version. Yeah, this is in the N64 version, too, yeah. Yeah, this is not, yeah, not an Xbox thing, so. You can do this on Nintendo 64. Or at least this glitch I'm about to do, you can't do on Nintendo 64, but you can do Bottles Bonus on Nintendo okay. 64. So, yeah. All right, we're almost done here. If I can get the pieces in. Ah, uh, get in there. There we go. All right, that'll be our last puzzle. And Banjo's kind of getting bullied now in the corner. <laughs> it's gonna hit. Yeah. And so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go make my way up to Mumbo's Mountain. And okay. I'm going to be turning off my internet. I'm not even joking. This glitch works because you turn off your internet. Okay. Yeah. It's really, really weird. I'll show you why it works like that. So, I'm so curious. Yeah. And so I actually have a hotspot on my phone right now. And I'm just going to turn it off once I enter the lair here. And now it's off. And so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take some damage here. And so, hopefully, if 
I enter Mumbos and I exit, a certain pause menu will come up. Awesome. Oh. So this is a menu exclusive to the Xbox version, where if you sign out of Xbox Live, like your internet, it will come up with this menu. And you can just, you know, keep pressing retry, it really won't do anything. But the important thing about this is that it pauses the game. And this pauses the game virtually anywhere, like in the entire game. Oh and my so, god. There is a very special condition that we can do inside Bottle's Bonus to let us get maybe to a level early. Oh, like you can get into... Because it's showing you in those levels, you can mm -hmm. then start moving around in the levels. Yep. Uh -huh. Die here. Oh, so you need to die. Okay. Yeah. Oh, is Granny going to talk to me? Hold on. Make, make sure not to press B, that would be bad. That's fine though, I think her text box is not that long. <laughs> Alright, we'll just spawn in near Banjo's house, just kind of faster. So okay. actually I need to get a timer up on my phone here. <laughs> That's important. So let me go to my clock. Uh, stopwatch. Okay, cool. And so I need to watch this next demo. And press start at the same time here so I can... Oh, did I... Got a first person, nice. All right, and then, all right, cool. And so now we just have to be here for about a minute. <laughs> so it's silent, unfortunately. So okay. kind of just have to sit in here. But what's gonna happen is that since loading zones are disabled and there's no wall blocking you off from the void out because the loading zone is typically supposed to be there, you can void out if you just walk right out of bounds. Oh. And if you void out in these demos, you can go straight to Click Clock Wood. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is a method of Click Clock Wood early, and that's extremely broken because, one, I have access to... I can skip the pumpkin for the water switch, and I don't have to, you know, get the genius for Click Clock Wood. And yeah, I just right. have access to the, the entire layer, basically. Right. So yeah, it's about to come up. I just gotta make sure I get this. It may not work. It's fine. Now we can do it again. It doesn't take too long. Um, okay, here we go. Okay. I had to do it about a 59 and a half seconds. And so I'm just going to continue to press A. Okay, this is looking good. So he's just going to jump right out of bounds. I can press B now to get rid of the menu. Void out, and now I'm in Click Clock Wood. Oh my gosh! So yeah. That's fascinating that, like, mm -hmm. them being like, oh, we'll just put, like, the an instance of that there in Bottle's yeah. thing, because who would ever try to take advantage of it like this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Are all the doors open through. or just spring? Like, it's like it's basically uh, the beginning of the level. Yeah, so we're, we're still in the same file, but we're not, like, in the, the demo desync adventure file at all. Okay. So, like, everything that we collected before is still there. That's why I got Mumbo tokens and stuff. This is kind of cool. You can do this where you can go on the edge of the snare bear and get the Mumbo token. Oh, I never knew <laughs> there's that. Just not a hitbox. Yeah, there's just not a hitbox there. Oh, I feel like so hitboxes gonna... in this game can often be very weird. Oh, this game has horrible hitboxes. It's, it's actually insane. Like, the acorns in, in this level, they have to collect. Oh my god, who programmed those? <laughs> I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, but sometimes then it works to your advantage, like when you can just like use Kazooie's beak through an object and then suddenly you get Jiggies mm -hmm. early and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm gonna go over cool. towards this flower just to show something off. Mm -hmm. There's a flower you have to, I believe, you have to put eggs in and it will sow. So there's a thing where you can do on N64 at softlocks, but it just doesn't work. Mm-hmm. So if I just put these in here, oh, I don't have any eggs. Okay, that's fine. I just I just wanted to show off that it doesn't work, but there's a soft lock you can do. Just put more eggs while uh, the flower is already planted, and it huh. will just cause a cutscene to play, and you will just be soft locked. Oh wow! So yeah. So I'm gonna try to breeze through Cook Lock with as fast as I can, because my goal actually right now is to get the bee. The bee okay. is very very powerful. I would say it's probably like the top three like most powerful glitches in this entire game and so i need to get mumbo tokens too <laughs> i'm getting those so i just need 25 so i need 10 more 
Okay. You can get those really fast in here. There's a ton of mumbo tokens in Click Clock Wood. Yeah, there are a lot in this level. Because, I mean, it's, you need the most of them for this transformation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some eggs on the way, too. I don't know what I... I don't think I need them anymore, but... Okay. We good on the eggs now. Okay, good. You never know. Yeah, I know. Like, I'll probably forget again. I'll be like, oh, wait, yeah, I need eggs for that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It'll most likely happen. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. At least you like, I mean, you know everything about the game. Like, you know where they are. So it's okay. Yeah. Get yeah, this mumbo token. This is kind of a slow one to get, but it's pretty fast on Xbox because of the loading zone, so. So. I think there's. Oh, yeah, something to mention. So, if you grab, I think, this token and then reload the room, there's a token down here you actually can't get. It will, like, you despawn because they share the same flag and so in order to get these both you have to yeah, let me take some damage, damage. okay yeah, that's fine and so yeah that's that's how you can get those two tokens you have to get the first one above then the uh second one below and so we're going to summer now we're just gonna breeze through summer i just need to get the switch okay we're getting some tokens yeah, not a lot of glitches, really, in Click Clock Wood. Like, there's there's actually a lot that work, like, glitches on N64, but, I mean, they're not too interesting. It's just kind of clipping out of bounds and that kind of stuff. Okay. So, I was like, I'd be down, but, you know, wait, I, I know we're mostly sticking with this version and a yeah. different one. Mm-hmm. Um, but this is the best level, so it's, you know, and it's okay. It's uh, okay to, like, actually play through some of this. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to these, I know somebody said it earlier, but I didn't know if it was taken as just like a, I, I wasn't sure if it was facetious or not, but like, how much have you put yourself into this game in terms of finding glitches? Because you said you you are a glitch hunter for this game. It's yeah. something that you like to do. Most of the glitches, like the Xbox exclusive ones, I did find. I found that uh, <laughs> Bottle's bonus thing. It's called Bottle's bonus desync adventure. I did find that. Uh, I did not find DDA. That was that was found a couple years ago. I found the pause overlap, which, um, mm -hmm. what else? Oh, I need to die here, actually. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I found, like, a lot of the Xbox exclusive glitches. I found a couple N64 stuff, but the X, mm -hmm. like, not a lot of people looked into the Xbox version too much, because it's kind of like, oh, we all love the, you know, N64 version, which is great. I, I run the N64 version, too. Okay. But, uh, there's not a lot of love here when it comes to, you know, glitch hunting and wanted to, you know, change that. Gotcha. So, yeah. So, I'm gonna get this. Well, I actually, I don't think you can get this one without, like, taking damage, so I have to use gold feathers. Oh, because they look, like, a lot bigger in that, in, like, the mm -hmm. fall version, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I think, yeah, this is a good time to do this. All right, so we're gonna. I'm gonna introduce you to probably the most broken glitch in this entire game, and it, it is called a bit clip. And essentially, okay. the banjo kazooie is made up of a bunch of triangles. In between those triangles, there are seams, and in those seams, there are floating point rounding errors. So basically, what that means is that the game has to round numbers because it can't infinitely store numbers for like coordinates and such. And if the rounding, you know fails in some way, it will just not um, detect that you're on collision. And so something you can do here is that since you're, you spawn right onto a seam right here onto like two triangles uh, connecting, you can bit clip in basically almost any spot here. And you can see I'm kind of like, like, uh, I guess, trying to fall through the ground. And so in order to fall through the ground, you actually have to beak bus into it. Okay. I think I might have uh, left the scene, but it's so precise. It's I think like a hundred thousand, a hey, hundred thousandth of a unit, like yeah, small. So it's like what? yeah, it's so small and so precise that it is basically nobody's ever done it like in the history of this game without a setup. So you can't That's you fair. can't do it without a setup. So At then, least here you can do the it. Quick question is how was this found then again? Uh, so it was actually found in Banjo-Tooie, so that's kind of interesting. 
Yeah, okay. so an advantage to it as well. There's a lot more spots where you can do this exact kind of thing. Hmm. And yeah, you can just fall. They, someone fell to the ground and they're like, "What? how did this happen? And they just went from there and found everything. And so what you can do here is if you press X and uh, jump on a certain frame, you can get a really fast big clip spot. Okay, that was a little, way too early. <laughs> so I'm going to do a punch. There we go. You just clip through the ground. And you die. And yeah, Nothing. that is really important. I'm also... I need an extra life, because I don't want to be at zero lives. <laughs> that would be bad. Um, That's okay, though, yeah. I think there's one in here somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. Uh, I'll be fine, though. Alright, so... Now, what was I gonna do? Right, I'm saying Mumbo tokens, so... <laughs> oh, right, yeah. We're trying to get to the yeah. B. Yeah. Listen, this game is broken enough where it's distracting, and that's, and that's okay. I know. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I had to explain that, that glitch. That's a pretty big glitch. And yeah, so mm -hmm. th there's setups to use that glitch to get into levels early that I'll be doing. Hopefully, I'll have enough time to show it. Right. But it was just found. The Xbox version of Mad Monster Mansion early was just found because... There's a little, there's like a little bit of difference between bit clips and stuff between N64 and Xbox. Uh -huh. It's like not too different, but it's different where it just it, you, it can't be different. Like that's the point. Like it, it just can't be different for it to not work or whatever. Okay. And so I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna go into winter because I'm kind of scared of dying here. I need to get an extra life. Sure. Um, you can do the there. same. Um, oh, what's it called? When you when you um, beak into the ground and then you fall off a platform, you don't take any damage. Oh right, that. yeah. Can you do I that can... in the Xbox version? Yeah, yeah, that works. That actually works in Banjo Tooie as well. They didn't patch it, so. Oh, that's awesome! I didn't know that. Yeah. So I don't Maybe think I did. Take I might have tried full it. damage, but if you. If you uh, beak buster and then fall off a ledge like that, you just won't take fall damage unless you hit an enemy. Uh, you oh, will. Sure. Yeah, that that's bad. Don't do that. <laughs> and do you take fall damage and the enemy damage? Yep, and you will oh. just instantly die. And there and right. so the enemy paths in this game, like how they move around and stuff, is completely RNG based. Mm -hmm. So if you you know mess something up, it's just it's it's game over. You know, you just die and you have to reset. So, yeah. uh, I'm gonna get this one boat token, and then I think we're good. There's probably one in we're spring I could have got, but yeah, we're almost to the B. B is the best. The B is the best. It's my favorite transformation because of this glitch coming up. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I couldn't. There, I think there's like a couple ways I could have avoided out there to get back to the beginning of the level, but I'm at zero lives. In fact, if you have zero lives and you void out, you game over. No idea why oh. that happens. Yeah. So it, it forces a game over and you can do nothing about it. And it's really, really, really bad. So yeah, don't want that to happen. Yeah, we do not want that to be the case. Yeah. So. I'm gonna get the B. There's an extra life right above me, so we should be going on that front. Awesome. We have to listen Maybe. to this text. <laughs> exactly enough. Long. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Some bugs are just. Uh, the comment in chat says some bugs are just so much a part of the game engine that patching them would basically require rewriting all collision detection. That's true. That's actually yeah. true. That's why there are some games that are just, um, especially when they're ported to other consoles or things like that, like they will have some of the same glitches because it would just be too much. Like it's too integral to the game. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. I think there's actually bit clips in Mario 64. Um, you can do it, I think, in water planes. Oh. But yeah, it's pretty much as precise. So it's kind of interesting. So now yeah, we've gotten got the, the best slide. transformation. What happens? Yeah. And, and now we can just flip out of bounds here. Get back to oh. the beginning of the level. <laughs> yeah, just oh. really easy void out. 
that's usually used in 100% to get back, so. Oh, wow. Pretty okay. Cool. And so now we're the B. We didn't open up the Clockwood. And now we're going to do a, a glitch called Reverse Bee Adventure. And what that allows us to do is take the B to places that, you know, it's not supposed to go. Uh -huh. And I'm going, what's going to happen here is that I'm going to go against this wall and it's going to fall. I'm going to fall and I'm going to try to fall right into Brentilda and she's going to push me out of bounds. And now I'm out of bounds. And so now I can pretty much go into this loading zone and skip the detransformation trigger. And now mm. I'm the bee in the lair and not supposed to be the bee in the lair. So I can just go over walls and stuff. This is probably the most broken glitch because you can pretty much get into any level you want. Like at this point, there's a way to clip out of bounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm gonna go uh, back to Clinker's Cavern. Oh, interesting. I, okay. And yeah, we're going to go into Clinker's Cavern early. And that's really cool. So it's so it's good to get a bead to then go into Clankers. Yeah. So yes. what an so interesting old, progression. Yeah. So the old any percent route, I uh, actually used uh, reverse speed adventure a lot. This is how we got into all the levels early. Mm -hmm. We would use the DDA file. We would go and collect some jiggies and then transform into the B and then do the rest of the game that gotcha. way. So yeah, you can just go over this wall and you'll go right into Clankers Cavern. <laughs> so it's, it's really broken. Like they just didn't w decide to put ceilings anywhere. Like here, no ceiling. Just You can just go <gasps> what? right over here. Yeah. And I can collect that jiggy if I wanted to. I oh, could. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It, this is like oh. probably my favorite glitch in this game. It is I've so good. I've never seen the game like this yeah. broken. If you go down here, will you yeah. suddenly go in water? Nope. Uh, no, so if you go, like, around the water plane, you actually won't, uh, you, like, won't swim, I guess. I, the bee doesn't swim, but, like, if you dip into water as the bee, he will just, like, fly and won't actually, like, go underneath it. Mm -hmm. Unlike other transform transformations, so you actually have to go around it. Yeah, that's a really easy way to just go down there. You can raise Clanker. Doesn't matter if you're the bee or not. The oh game just God. doesn't, the game does not care. They're, they're, it's just like, Clearly. you're the bee. You can be the bee, you can do whatever you want. Be the bee, embrace yeah, the bee. Be the According to laws of aviation. <laughs> yeah. And so the bee has a really big nose. Actually, I'm going to do this, Jiggy. And you can just kind of flip oh, through gates. I'm and telling you, the hitbox. Like Beats yeah, the and hit noses. Box. Yeah. Wow. Mm hmm. And so I'm going to go into this room. I'm gonna jump into here, and, and oh, and so this doesn't have a ceiling either, so we can just kind of go out of bounds this way, <laughs> and just go behind here, so we don't, we don't have to deal with the uh, saw blades. Use that loading zone. Wow. And now we can use like a little like precise jump here to get into this room because we can't go underwater. Oh, so it and just then, kind of fell under. Yeah, and the bee's hitbox is so wonky, you can kind of just clip through here, go out of bounds, <laughs> <laughs> and just do whatever you want. Um, oh my gosh. Collect anything you want. The bee actually, so, you know, you can't, like, do any of your, like, Banjo-Kazooie moves, so a lot of the stuff is kind of locked. But in Clanker's Cavern, you can get every single note. It's possible to get every note in here. As the bee. We do. Yeah, as the bee, yep. And also, the bee's hitbox is like really low, so you can just kind of, you know, walk underneath here. It doesn't really I mean, matter. This already has like the advantage of walking on the seam. Yeah. To not yeah. Digging. If you. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you walk like along this area right here, if you were uh, banjo kazooie, you would just not take damage. Yep. Didn't like put a hitbox there, so. <laughs> so funny that they did that. That's yeah. what, I do that in my casual playthrough all the time now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's a really cool trick. I, I love that trick. Uh, I think that's, that's gonna trick. be it for Clankers. I just need to find a way to get out of here. Uh, this okay. way. There you go. Oh, no, I collected a note! No! <laughs> <laughs> We're not trying to collect notes? Alright, that's fine. Um, so, the bee actually has a height limit of like 7,500 units, but fortunately we can kinda... So, like, see, I, I'm pressing A, I can't actually, like, go any higher and so that's that's like a universal thing the bee has but that's not like too bad in most areas because it doesn't go that high 
And so, if you just spam A, you can eventually void out. If you gain the speed. And so, yeah, that's Clinker's Cavern. That's awesome. And you just go through the bar. And you just walk right through it. <laughs> <laughs> no collision oh on the, the other side, so didn't really need to do any of that. This is amazing. And then, so there's a note door here. Uh, we have to skip it, but these stalactites just don't have collision. So you can go through them. Spread around again. Let's go. Yep. And you can just skip that note door like that. So now okay, we're going to so go into Bubble Boob Swamp. So the B is broken. Oh, yeah. Big time. So something cool about this is that since you're walking, like, okay, so you, you walk from a loading zone here, like, you, you know, get your certain coordinates and then you're allowed to move. Uh, doing that here actually prevents uh, from us from getting detransformed. And so that's how we can actually get into BGS. And so there's usually a detransformation zone here, but it's completely deactivated right now because we walked in through that loading zone. And that's oh. like, like, I'm... It's so good that it works out like that because now we can get into uh, Bubble Goop Swamp early as the B. And so the easiest way is just go around here to this out of bounds collision and then fall and then oh, try to na navigate to the door. Oh my gosh. Okay. That was oh, really okay. cool. Just barely and then made it now in. we're in Bubble Goop Swamp. And yeah. Ah. Not a lot of, to do here as the B because every, uh, every Jiggy in here is actually, except for one. Uh, the the Jinjo Jiggy, you can't actually get as the B. Uh, a lot of these are switches. Mm. They're all spawned in it, basically. You can't really sure. you know, grab a Jiggy. And so there's a clip here. I, I called this one the uh, Tarzan clip. I, I found this. <laughs> okay. And what you can do here is if you're on this vine, and this is kind of precise, but you can use the vine to clip out of bounds. It just pushes you out. It's kind of hard to do. Uh, I mean, we're high up right now. Yeah. You're not usually supposed to get up here. Oh, there we go, but I'm going to void out. Dang it, okay. Oh, yeah, I, I out. wasn't Yeah, I wasn't supposed to void out, but um, supposed to stay in bounds. Yeah, unfortunately, the void out zone is, like, really close. So, uh, let's try it again. Uh, dang it. Yeah, this is some, you kind of really don't you don't really know if this is gonna work or not. You kind of just have to hope and pray it works. <laughs> it works on like any of the vines here, so you just keep trying different ones. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Um, try this one. Okay, got on this one again. But yeah, this just lets us clip out of bounds. There is a you can clip out of bounds easily here on N64. There's like a bunch of lag clips you can do, but on Xbox we have to do this. So. Gotcha. Pick it up. But yeah, this isn't like used in speedruns or anything. It's just kind of a thing you can do. Wow. You okay. can still, you can still do. Can you do all of this in the in just the whole B part in N64? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. oh, I forgot to mention that. So. You can do a clip on the 765 note door, and that lets you actually uh, get out of bounds, and that's how you can do reverse speed adventure on N64. And that clip we did with Brentilda also, that works on all versions. I actually found that on the Nintendo Switch version, so... Oh, wow, <laughs> that's, okay. Yeah, yeah. so that, that works on all versions of the game. That's basically our universal way to do uh, reverse speed adventure. And so, oh. yeah, now, right now we're just out of bounds. There's a lot of just, like, swamp land out here that you oh, can wow. just kind of walk around. <laughs> They just kind of put like a flat. Whatever. It's just there. Yeah, and, and there's just a lot, like a lot of just nothingness out here. It almost, I think they were probably going to make BGS a little bit bigger, but they ended up just not doing it. I don't know. Maybe that, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, now I'm playing bounds and I just need to get an extra life. Where is it? Back here? Yeah. And yeah, now we're going to get this. Awesome. And we're now we're saying. gonna leave. Oh my goodness. Oh, actually that cuts in. <laughs> oh, we're going the wrong way now. Yeah. That one, okay, so there's some text you can skip on Xbox by pressing the B button, but it's so like arbitrary. Like it it they kind of just like picked and shoot like it, it's so weird. Like how they picked what to skip and what not to skip. Like there's a bunch of important stuff that should be skippable, but it's not. Mm -hmm. Well look at the uh, lack of ceiling. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, there's no ceiling there, so I actually have to 
go around here. The detransformation zone is actually activated now, so I have to go around that. And that's really right. hard because the room is deloaded, so you have to kind of guess where you're going. You think, yeah, you can see it from afar, but once you get close to it, you can't. Yeah. And so, oh no, no door, we can't skip. Oh, there's no ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> and we can just go around it. Oh my gosh. I mean, they never thought. They just never yeah. thought that this would be possible. You yeah, that one, that I, that, that one I can get casually. That one's super yeah. easy casually. Mm-hmm. Use the bee's uh, nose to get through there and get that jiggy. You and so it. the devs didn't expect you to get up here, so there's just a hole in the geometry. You no can just come and do it. Way. Yep. Oh, come on. Come on. Just, you just have to squeeze into the hole. This is a lot harder on Xbox, but yep, there you go. And now we're in Gobi's Valley. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I have never seen any of this, actually. This is all yeah. new for me. This is so much fun. Yeah. It's a crazy glitch. And, okay, so, the, the geometry here sucks, it's a little bit, like, it's not on the ground, it's like not connected, so you can just walk right underneath it. <gasps> because you're so short. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and just get right into the uh, sphinx, oh, really. Oh my goodness. And this is really broken, because you can kind of just get go right up here and get this jiggy. Get all oh. the notes if you wanted to. Yep, and you don't have to use any eggs. They use that in Xbox uh, 100%. They actually do Gobi's Valley in two visits. They do it as uh, Banjo and then do it uh, do it as uh, the bee. That's it's really bee. cool. That's fair. Yeah. Can you also go through all, right. all these dudes? Yeah, okay. yeah, you can. You want oh, to? Yeah. So they do that in Xbox. Nice. Yeah, they do that on 100% too. Yeah, it's it's really nice. Okay, and then another clip here. You can kind of just move your way. Okay, this is kind of difficult. It's not too hard, but you kind of have to. Right in the corner. There here. we go. There we go. And now we're out of bounds. And now we can get to like any of the blocked, you know, pyramids. Like that one's blocked. You have to hit it with beak uh, bomb. Yeah. Right. And There's the time one. Blocked. And then you can actually see the water underneath, like the moat area. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Oh. Before it like rises up. Oh, before it comes up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Oh, that's fine though. I'll do this then. So there's Grabba here, he has a Jiggy, you have to be really fast. The bee is extremely fast, so you can just kind of do that. <laughs> and get his Jiggy. And then if you hear in the background, you can hear the, the running shoes, I think, still. With the music. Yes! And so it's playing. And yeah, that's what happens when you collect a Jiggy without uh, speed shoes. It'll just play it anyway. Just, yeah, it'll just play the running shoes music for the entire time you're in here. <laughs> Oh, unless no, you go into the loading zone. Forever. Yeah, unless, in, unless you go into a loading zone, though, so it sure. should be fine. Uh, so let funny. me just try this again. Why is this not working? There we go. There you go. Okay. Go into here. And then you can jump, fly, and go right into this loading zone. Oh, and now we're in the next one. And then there's this room where you have to poop eggs into, I think, Ruby's, like, snake charmer thing and it'll rise up but you can just do this oh because it's there oh so you don't yeah. need to oh that's awesome yeah yep and you can just get that jiggy without having to you know poop any eggs or anything i'm assuming that's and also yeah. used in Xbox 100 oh yeah yep that, yeah yep that's used <laughs> um that's something you can do here i guess it's not really yeah to glitch because we're using the B, but um, you can hit that switch and then just fly up. Get into the loading zone here. Gotcha. You can actually do that uh, with Banjo too. If you go to the flight pad, there's flight pads in the moat, and you can just do that to get in here early. Oh, nice. <laughs> and you can kind of just go out of bounds and. Up to the hole. Yep. And you can collect this jiggy like this. And so I'm going to try it. You can actually do uh, the pause overlap glitch of the one where you use the menu. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of precise. I'm going to try it. Ah, okay. That's that's okay. But you could get pause overlap glitch there by doing that. Just mm -hmm. kind of cool. Using that cutscene. Awesome. Yeah. But that's okay. We're going to see that in a bit. And all right. Uh, I think that's going to... Yeah, that'll be it probably for Gobies. Okay. We'll probably go to the next level. Let's get it. Yep. What do we have left? So we've been to since we started 
Oh my gosh, there's been so much happening. I'm like, how we? I think we have one level left. Yes, that would be Mad Monster Mansion. Mad Monster Mansion is the only one we haven't yeah. technically visited in this game yet. Yeah. In, in tonight's mm -hmm. showcase, and then we still have yep. like a, a different way to look at the game coming up after that too. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So, so what, what you can do here is a clip. Here you can do as the B. Oh, I did it with a little bit too speed, too much speed, but it's okay. We can do it again. But you just kind of clip into this. And, oh, I didn't actually mean to clip there, but that works. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. You can land on that, and then this allows you to skip the 350 note door. Oh, there, okay. Yeah. It's like, where are we? So, yeah, and then there's a D transformation trigger there, but you can just fly over it. <laughs> Doesn't matter. And so, yeah. Now we have Mad Monster Mansion. There is, like, two ways to get into here. Well, I mean, there's three, but two realistically uh there's just not any you know collision here so you can just jump through that way if you wanted to but there's another way where you can you can go on the oh okay i clipped out of bounds too fast but wow that was if you clip <laughs> yeah <laughs> if you clip uh into that and then hit the loading zone you can get in early there we go and that's mad, Mon mad monster mansion early that was so yeah. easy yeah so that's are some of these only Accessible through a B. Yeah, okay, you're about to explain. Yeah. I'm silly. Yeah, no, you're good. Uh, so you can do that as banjo with with the bit clip. I'm gonna show that off like right after this. So, and then you can't do Gobi's Valley early as the B. You, or no, sorry, you can't do Gobi's Valley early as BK at the moment. At least in an RTA setting, you can do it with a bit clip in a task setting, but okay. RTA you can't do it. Gotcha. Um. You okay? You can go into uh, Clanker's Cavern early, but it's I think a really precise jump, and it's like almost task only. You can technically do it. There's a clip with that like negative speed clip right at the entrance. You can get in that way, but that's huh. really hard. So what we're doing here, we just go out of bounds and we're in the cellar because the loading zone's there. <laughs> so what we can do here is. There's a jiggy here we have to break the thing for, but we can just get it with our nose. You can just reach it. Yep. Little nose. Little next really nose. Easy. And then there's this jiggy we can just grab. Oh, oh. so easy. Okay. Yeah. Get that one. Oh my gosh. So you can't and... get all of them in this level either. Uh, yeah, no, you can't. There's, I think you can get like about half of them. Oh, okay. But, yeah. What? Oh. And then, yeah. Sorry, I'm just doing stuff like muscle memory. I, I, I feel like the you're just church there. flying. You're just flying up yeah. into the corners of these doors, which which at least is yeah. pretty straightforward, even though it's so silly. Yeah. So you can just clip through there, and you're into the church early. Right, but you won't be able to do the keys. Yeah. Uh, no, unfortunately, B can't do the keys. Yeah, he you have to do it with Beakbuster, I think. Yeah. Yeah. You can't just exactly. expand on them. But there's a clip you can do here where you can just go against this corner. Okay, sometimes it doesn't work. It's kind of the same clip as the one in BGS, mm -hmm. but it's a lot easier because it's like a lot larger geometry. I don't know why that's not working. I have to like slide against it. I can't like be stuck. It's gotta be like that or something. Oh my gosh. Okay, you can kind of do it on any of these, but I don't know why it's not wanting to. Okay, this is really easy. <laughs> <laughs> Why are these easy clips going badly? But the oh, there we go. Okay, there you so go. now we're out of bounds, and yeah, <laughs> what you can do here is just void out, and yeah, okay. And then I think one more thing before we go to our emulator, and we're gonna go into here. And so the bee actually can't escape this room. We're soft locked, and oh, uh -oh. what we can do instead, though, is we can. Grab this jiggy, and hopefully stuff will just... Okay, so yeah, the extra life above the chandelier just teleported down to us. What? What? And what? I don't know why that happens, but if you collect that jiggy with skipping the dance, it just teleports stuff in the room. It could teleport that door right there if you wanted it to, so... But yeah. And then to get out of this room, we just gotta die. <laughs> we gotta go into the flames. Will you? Will we stay a B? Oh, yeah, yeah. If you die in any oh. of the levels, you'll just stay as the bee, yeah. 
But there's a so way. It's coding level, will... you... Yeah, oh. it's super interesting they did it that way. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like they would have made it so that it would, like in each level, if you were a transformation and died, then it would update you back. But yeah, w one more thing I just remembered is that you can actually detransform in any of the Mumbo uh, locations here, actually. You can just uh, press X and you'll detransform. <laughs> Doesn't matter oh. if you have the tokens. And we're back as Banjo. In Mad Monster. And yeah. And I don't oh, think no, there's we're... anything really else in here as Banjo, to my knowledge. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it, so I guess we could transfer over to Exenia now. Okay, perfect. Okay, yeah. in that case, we will take another quick break um to give you yep. time to do that. But this has been mm -hmm. so cool. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize I I never knew yeah. how few ceilings there are in this game. Let's put it that way. Yeah, they're just that's what's busted about this game. If if you can get a way to to get like pretty much infinite high, it's just over. It's like, over. It's over. Right, I was like, well, at least at least game this game was you know a little bit more solid in its creation than DK sixty four. Let's say um, yeah, I saw yeah. Connor in here earlier, um, <laughs> but. Uh, I'm I'm starting to believe that's not as true. It's just it is a little harder to find these gaps, but they do exist. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you if you can just get height in this game, it's yeah. As I said, it's just it, every, you can get through anything. Yeah, it's, seriously. It's really that simple. Huh. So. No figurative or literal ceiling, yeah. exactly. All right, so yep. we will be right back. Um, this is wild. Yeah, that's it. That's all I have to say. We'll be right back and we have some more stuff to see in this game. We're not even done. Not even finished. We'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> all right, everyone, we are back with our final portion of Out of Bounds. If you were just joining, hello, I'm Kung Fu Fruit Cup. I am joined by TSR Storms, who has been showing off the glitches in Banjo-Kazooie this evening. Oh my goodness, this game is so much more broken than I thought. And like, I legitimately was like, oh yeah, this is a broken game. Like. It's an N64 game. We found all this stuff. Nope. Way more. Way more than I thought. If you <laughs> missed the first part of the showcase, you need to go back once this is up on our YouTube channel and like watch. Please watch this. There's I've learned so much tonight. I'm so excited for the next time I play through the game. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Count us back down and take us through what we're going to see now. I have no idea what's about to happen. So take yeah. it away. All right. So this is a re like really new glitch. Well, it's actually not new, but... Uh, we're going to do an Xbox version of it that's new. And yeah, I guess I'll just count down now. Uh, three, two, one, go. All right, so... Oh, I'm using the wrong controller. Hold on, I need to hook up my controller. <laughs> I forgot it's still plugged into my... Uh... We're good, though. I can just plug it in. All right. Hold up. There we go. Okay. Okay. Wait, it's still... <laughs> Why is it still connected to my Xbox? Hold oh, on. that's silly. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, controller I'm problems. <laughs> All right. And now I just unplug it. Yeah, sorry about this. I should have done this during the break, but I forgot. All good. Uh, okay, why are you not working now? I swear, I, I just plug this in usually and it works. I don't know why it's... Why is it doing that? Uh, I've been plugging it in... Physically, like with a cable, will help you. Yeah, yeah, I have it plugged in with a cable. It's just, I don't know why it's not. Let me go. I'm going to go back to the back of my PC. <laughs> uh, maybe that would do something. Why are you, why are you like this controller? <laughs> what? Actually, I have this problem recently. Why is this recently. happening now? It's okay. I had this problem fairly recently, too, where my controller would just stop picking up with the connector that I had yeah. for it. Yeah. yeah, that's so odd. Mm-hmm. Is it curtain. like not being recognized? Because maybe I have to like close out my emulator and go back in. I don't know. Mm. Come, come on, come on. Why are you not connecting? What is going on? <laughs> that is so weird. I'm gonna try to. And a chat wants to help troubleshoot. <laughs> yeah, I know. Chat, what do you got? What do you got? What's some, Get it. What's some tips? <laughs> I 
Yeah, I turned I, I turned off like the Xbox from behind like the, the cable, so Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I'd maybe close this program and reopen. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. That's cool. fine though. That often it can be the case. Alright, I closed it, I'm gonna open it back up again. Make sure to let me see it too once it's open. Yep. Okay, cool. Yeah, I had this all ready to go. Why is it just not wanting to work with us? All right, hold on. Like, it's not even being recognized on my computer. Like, like it's just still blinking. That is so odd. I've never had this problem. Uh, I do. I'm wearing here. <laughs> uh, did I bring it? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Let's see if this works. Oh no, it uses micro USB. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't have a micro USB cable. Oh, uh oh. Oh my lord. <laughs> Plugged into anything oh. else? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to plug it into. I believe. I believe in the dream. Oh, what is going on? The showcase has been so cool, though. You all, seriously, if anybody's just joining us, you've missed what some is... incredible stuff. Maybe trying another USB know. port. Yeah, I'm, we'll see. It's crazy though. Like that. This is crazy. It just doesn't want to like pick it up. Like maybe. Uh, yeah, that would probably be best. That is so weird. All right, we are gonna. Okay, yeah. we're gonna hop back on a break for a second, you all, and we're gonna get this figured out, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna see some cool stuff. Okay, hang on, just give us a minute. Yeah. Get some water <laughs> if you haven't had water in a bit. Please hydrate. We'll be right back.
Okay, everyone, we're back. Things are working. Everything's good. All right, TSR, I'm handing it back. Yep. All right. So let's try to get this explained as quickly as possible. So, all right. So I have <laughs> coordinates here. I think you can start the timer now if you want. It's not already started. It doesn't but, matter anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. So what we're gonna do here? It's called a bit clip. We just did it in Click Clock Wood. And what that allows us to do is it allows us to get into Mad Monster Mansion early. Okay, why is my controller now infinitely vibrating? <laughs> what is going on? I'm not joking. It's just, it's infinitely vibrating. What? Uh-oh. Okay, I think it... What is going on? <laughs> the connect. Oh my god. Hold on. Think some movement. Right? Maybe that's what's going on, but... We're back, though. We're good. Nice. Okay. I did it? Ooh, what the heck? There we go. Alright! Alright. Should be ready to go now. We gotta speedrun this now, so... <laughs> Alright, so what we're gonna do here is... I'm just gonna kill these enemies because they're kind of annoying during the setup, but we're going to go up here, we're going to hit this grate, and what that does is it lets us go out of bounds here, if I can do the out of bounds movement, and that lets us get out of bounds, there's like an invisible like floor here you can use, if you jump on this dumbbell thing here, you can jump out of bounds, void out, and that lets us set up the glitch. All right, so first we're going to go into town. Why? The controller. Hold on. Mm. Game is just not behaving. All right, we're working. We're working on it. Also, again, like, we've seen so much already. This has really been an incredible showcase. How's it going? Sounds okay on my end. Wait, TSR, I don't think we can... Oh, wait. Oh, I see, I see. No, you're here. Okay. We're working on mic stuff. Hey, can you hear oh, me now? There we go. Hello. Okay. All right. I'm plugged in, plugged it back in. Yeah, it might be a different mic. I have, like, these holes that are long. Oh, tech. Tech. This sometimes... Is so weird. I swear to God, this has, like, never happened to me before. That's Okay. <laughs> Tech sometimes just decides to be really mean, and like anybody who's done anything like this has gone through it.
Nah, mana nak on? Kita mana kita awal semua. Kami, kami siapa? I think it's just like one thing caused like a cascade of different things to happen. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Can you change your settings for your mic? Sounded better. Okay. <laughs> oh, that sounds better. Yep. Uh, is that good? Cool. I think we can continue now. Let me turn on noise suppression. All right. Do we want to just keep the camera off for now? Yeah. Yeah. Just let's, let's just leave it off because if everything else is gonna work, let's let's get in some some gameplay and just do that instead. Yeah. All right. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try it again. Hopefully, I. My computer doesn't explode or something. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Um, I'm going to move up on the joystick, and then I will pause on a certain frame, and that's a part of the setup. So hopefully I get it. Okay. Okay, that's a frame early. But don't worry, I don't have to do the setup again if I fail it, because it's actually really precise. If you mess up the setup, you have to do it the entire thing again. But I have hacks here that let me just save coordinates and stuff, so we should be okay. going on that end. Alright. And now we're gonna move up. So I think that's a frame early. Keep getting it a frame early. Alright. I think that's it. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna read the coordinates. Okay. So now we're gonna look left or right, and then we're gonna look back and forth. And then we're gonna do a backflip while holding left. And now we're gonna do a twirly, which moves at a three degree axis and we can get to any of like 120 different angles here. Okay. And I'm trying to get to 284. Oh, you're getting close. I see it in the top know, left yeah. corner. Yeah, it's kind of small on, on uh, probably on the stream, but. 287. There it is. Okay, cool. All right. And now we're gonna do two punch cancels. I'm just gonna make sure I have the, the setup up on my phone too. Okay. There it is. It's on my dock. I'm it's curious right on what's there. about to happen. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna read this angle too. And I'm gonna do two punch cancels here. Okay, I did two punch cancels. That's basically a frame perfect punch cancel while stopping it. And then I'm gonna okay. do a twirly to 89. Oh, so close. And by the way, you can do this without the tools. There's certain like things you can look for with the pause menu in order to find the correct angle. I'm just using the coordinates because it's way easier. Uh, so close. One frame off. So I'm just like, I'm one frame off every time. Two frames off. If I don't get it in like the next two twirlies, I can hack the position. Oh, there we go. Oh, there! Alright, let me read this. Perfect. Um, oh, you like to you soon. 
Okay, that should be one punch cancel. We're gonna go to 227. What is happening? <laughs> I'm doing a magic trick. I know, I'm so curious. Alright, two close. degrees on. One degree oh. on. One on. Oh. What? Come on. We do it from this way. Oh, so close. Again, same frame. Two off. I'm starting to look at the like visual relations. Ugh. There. There yeah. we go. All right. And then two punch cancels. All right. And then we go to 341, just like towards this way. Oh, ow, ow. There you go. There we go. If I do one punch cancel, it should clip me to the ground. Awesome. All right, so that is a bit clip. So the game is made up of a bunch of triangles. And I explained it before, but uh, there's rounding errors. And in between those triangles, you can clip into sp very specific coordinates. And the coordinates you see on screen right now, like my live position, I have to be that at that exact coordinate. Like I can't be like one off. I can't be anything else but but that specific yeah. coordinate. There are thousands of, of spots you can clip, but that's thousands of like millions of like of different possible coordinates per pixel. So that that's like. It's it, it's impossible for uh, somebody to do it on accident. So, gotcha. all right. But this lets us get into Mad Monster Mansion early. Wow. Oh, thank God I did that first try because of the tech issues. But, um, yeah, that. I know we have a little less time, but just yeah. just show us like the biggest bangers that you have for this, okay? Oh yeah, B Let's biggest bangers right now. All right, so <laughs> we're gonna go to. All right, so we need to teleport to. I think the lair, we need to go into RB, no, RBB, no, lobby. There we go. Okay. And so I wish I had more time to show this, but there is a glitch where if you somehow interrupt the cauldron cutscene here while you're inside a cauldron, uh, you will for some reason just be uh, like spawned in every cutscene in this game, you'll you'll just see Banjo in the cutscene, and that's really important with the pause overlap glitch. So oh. what, I'm, what I'm gonna do here is actually I'm gonna pull up something that shows me exactly when. Okay. Put this. I'm gonna pull up. Where is it? Cauldron state. There we go. Okay. So we're at state zero. We need to be at states uh, 64. So it'll go to 64, but then I need to like warp out. So I'm gonna like reach across my desk here. Okay, wait, all right, so cool, we're at state 64. And so if we go to Treasure Trove Cove, we can do this here. So I need to scroll up, go to Treasure Trove Cove, and then, oh well, we'll just be oh. right at the switch. All right, this is perfect. Oh. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even plan this. So we're at the switch, and if we have pause overlap glitch, so I just need to like reset the room. If you reset the room with the pause menu open, it just, it produces pause overlap glitch. It's okay. kind of interesting, but that's how it works. And so what we're going to do here is I'm going to beak bust this while pressing exit game. And if I collected, say, 100 notes in here uh, and went and, and did this, I would be able to place those 100 notes in a different level while retaining the notes in this level. So I could, like, get 200, say, in, like, Mumbo's Mountain if I wanted to. Okay. So what I'm going to do oh. here, hopefully I get this first try, is... Uh, beak bust on this and press and, and navigate blind navigate so this is really hard so one of the hardest glitches in the game so three two one so i have to get in talent trot there and so what i'm gonna do got it okay oh wow so what okay there, i'm i'm in that cutscene now because of the cauldron cut cutscene state thing where i'm in every cutscene now and i used pause overlap glitch to extend the cutscene so i gained control back and I went to this loading zone and now the game still remembers my notes from TTC and so if I go into another level like say Mumbo's Mountain go down here it will 
actually not do the jiggy fade in that usually happens with every level so you can that's how you can kind of gauge if you got it or not mm -hmm. and so hopefully it's open i think i opened it beforehand and so if you go into Lumbo's mountain it will remember what you had previously in tdc oh. okay and so yeah that makes it so we can collect up to uh Basically, I think it's so the limit is 255 notes. And for one level? That's because of. Yeah, for one level, it's because uh, the game stores it in a byte, and that's like 256 bits, I think. Oh. And so if you go over that, it'll actually like loop and it'll go back to zero. So you don't want that to happen. Interesting. So. Okay, that's cool. Oh, and then there's another one that we do, and this is using any percent, by the way. This is the glitch that broke any percent wide open and allows us to beat the game in under about 36 minutes. So it's really, really broken. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Clinker's Cavern, but I'm going to go into the Witch Switch room because... Uh, where is it? There it is. Okay. Awesome. And... I'm going to get pause over that glitch, so I'm just going to reset the room. And I'm going to do the same thing here, but this time I'm going to go to the right for this cutscene. So here we go. And so I need to go in town trot here so I get enough speed in order to get to the loading zone in time. Because it's only it only gives us this, the amount of time that the game over fade out. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. out. So here we go. Oh, wait, I did, I did it wrong. Oh, my gosh. That's fine, though. We're good. <laughs> We're good. Okay. Um, just gotta go back to that room. Okay. I have a thing that lets us reset yeah. the switches. And so yeah, if I oh, did nice. that in like an actual like run, it would be game over. I would have to restart the run because I can't okay. get the witch switch back. Got it. And okay. So I need, I need to do this again and get to exit game. All right now, I need to get to here, and so I need to jump at the switch and this one you have to press a like right away because the cutscene's so fast on, on xbox there he goes. and now i went into the loading zone and now i can transfer the clanker's cavern notes into any level i want but oh, typically wow. it'd be mundo's mountain and so huh. yeah that's yeah. so cool and that's, that's weird yeah it's it's really nice because you only need to grab i think about 300 notes in any percent now and so that's kind of like an 810 skip. So eight, the 810 note door, we actually have no way to skip it RTA. And that's like the biggest bottleneck in this game is trying to skip that note door. And we just have not like found anything yet okay. to, to clip in it. But it, it, you can skip it in a task though. There's a bit clip you can do, but in RTA, you, you can't you can't skip it. Gotcha. So, yeah. Huh. All right. So what, what, is there any time left for anything else or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got some time. Okay. Uh, all right, so we're gonna do another huge glitch in this game. Okay. Uh, it's not typically used in speedruns, but it has to do with jiggies. And I need to go to Nipper Shell, I think. Right. All right. So when you grab a jiggy in this game, it does a little dance, and Banjo like has it in his hand, and he's like, and, he, and that and that jiggy in his hand actually has to be deleted. But if you interrupt that cutscene by, let's say, dying before the cutscene happens, it will never remove that pointer. And so what we're going to do here is I'm just going to kill that guy. Okay. I think the Jiggy's still here. Hopefully, yep, there we go. And we're going to use this crab to die at the same time as picking up the Jiggy. If he would actually cooperate with us. Oh, there he goes. Oh, no. I didn't do it. Oh, That's no. fine. Oh. I do it again. Okay. That's what's nice about the save state stuff, so <laughs> just go back, back right like, into it. Let's just do it again. Yeah, that's why I saved all this to the end, because all this stuff could go really wrong in an actual run. For sure. All right. So we're going to try this again. If you would cooperate, he has to like turn around. It's really weird. There we go. Okay, so uh -oh. now we died with the Jiggy in our hand. Okay. And so now the game is like, okay, so we, we, we have this pointer that... Uh, an object needs to be deleted. And so that pointer stays in memory and it points to a different actor in the room because that jiggy in his hand is an actor. And so it's kind of like if, if you know stale reference manipulation where it there's a pointer to like 
a specific coordinate for the bush above your head. It's it's very similar to that, but instead it's de it's a delete function. And okay. so it will if you pick up a jiggy while si skipping the dance, it will basically almost delete anything in the game you want <laughs> that's in the room. Oh wow. Yeah. So I'm gonna have I have a little tool here. It's where is it? These it's called despawn. These are all the different actors in the room. And so there's 110 actors. Oh. And what we can do is we can I'm just you can manipulate this uh, if you like spawn in the actors in a certain way, but just for now I'm going I'm gonna just like hack it. But it, this does work if if you're on console. So and this also works on Xbox and N64. So okay. Um, yeah. Let's see. And so if I pick the lighthouse, that's an actor in the level. And if I pick up a jiggy while skipping the dance, so the best one to do is the one over here in the water. So I'm just going to go up here. Okay. If you grab that jiggy while it's skipping the dance, it will delete the lighthouse. And so we're going to hopefully Whoa. have that happen. We have to also, we have to have it like set up for it to work. Yeah, yeah. So you need to have that jiggy uh, you know, you have to die in the jiggy with your in, in with your hand. And oh. yeah, now the lighthouse is deleted. So as soon as I picked up that jiggy, the lighthouse is deleted. So I need to You know what? I'll just do lighthouse early. <laughs> I was going to like to get up there. Yeah. We yeah. saw this earlier, you all. You know, you yeah. don't have to fly in this level to get all the way up. Yeah. Oh. Uh, come on. Uh, I'm not used to the emulator like input delay for that, so. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. You try again. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of all the text on screen because that's probably really. <laughs> uh, come on. This was flawless earlier. Again, I see the difference in the. Um... All right. In the emulator. And so nice. hopefully I grab the right objects. Uh, they're sometimes mislabeled, but I think I got it. I did this in practice, so. Okay. We go up here. Oh no, why is the lighthouse still there? What? It's still there. Oh, why is it doing that? I. Should it have been there... gone? Like it Yeah, should've... so some of these are, are mislabeled. I guess, all right. but... I guess I meant like, is the, is the top of it maybe gone? Yeah, so the 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 um like just the body of the lighthouse would be gone, and so you could like oh, okay. jump into it out of bounds. Gotcha, I got you. All right, but yeah, uh, we can do one more of these. There's a really cool one, and it has to do with a cool transformation that you usually don't uh, end up using. So let me go to okay. So I, what I need to do is go into the DDA file. So where is there, wait, is that it? No. Is that up here? Yeah, so these are like in the order of like the game, like the, how the game interprets the location. So like a lot of it's just out of order. <laughs> so you need to like memorize where everything is, but we're good. Okay. And then I'm just going to, oh, did I do it right? All right, am I in the DDA file, hopefully? All right, cool. And now we're gonna go to, um, we're gonna go to Click Clock Wood. Okay, my favorite. And, yep, and we're gonna go to the top of summer, but we are going oh. to do this as a certain transformation. This is a neat tool. Yeah, I know. Yeah, th this is awesome. This is all made by Mini Rope. He he's such a cool guy. He made all this for us because Xbox never really had any tools like this, mm -hmm. and it's just so awesome. And so you can transform into the washing machine in this game <laughs> uh, if you do balls. Do anything, bonus. right? Uh. Yeah, it does do something because we got to use does? it. Yeah, we got to do it for the glitch. So, oh. all right. So instead of like setting all that up, what I could do is just go to my despawn thing. I think I wrote it down, which actor it is. It's like 44, I think. Yeah, actor 44. Um, right. Okay. So this actor. And so if we grab a jiggy and there's one in this level we can get. And if I don't accidentally die here. Okay, we're good. So yeah, the wash machine's really fun. <laughs> yeah. So you... weird. Is your hitbox different with it? Yeah, I think it's like a little bit smaller. And so, 
Yeah, and what, what it lets us do is it lets us skip Jiggy Jigs. So if we collect the Jiggy, there's usually a Venus Flytrap there on that flight pad. <laughs> oh. And I think I can get over there by... <laughs> Yeah, so I can't yeah, reload the room. I would just reload the room to get back up there, but it'll actually respawn it. So I need to just get up there normally. Okay. And so I'll just so go funny looking. Yeah, I know. Like Talon Trot, look, it's just like on the ground. It's so weird. So the washing machine was in Tui as an actual playable transformation. Yeah, yeah. Like it was a purposeful transformation. But it mm -hmm. does exist in this game first as like a. There's a small chance when you transform with Mumbo that you like quote unquote accidentally turn into this. And then he will automatically transform you into the thing you were supposed to be. So, like, instead of being yeah, the pumpkin, yeah. it'd be like, oh, washing machine. And he's like, oh, whoopsie. And he'll turn you into the pumpkin after. So, it's just like a, it's just a joke, basically. Oops. But, yeah, so what that means, so it, it's blocked by the the snare bear, it's called, but you call it, like, a Venus flytrap. Um, but you can now use it in summer so you can fly around. It's really cool. Oh, my God. That's so And so, funny. there's... They just didn't put collision here whoa, in like whoa. winter. So you can just go right out of bounds like that. Only when and, you're the washing machine? Uh, I think it might be because you're the washing machine. I think they might have made it so that it's like an if statement where if you're Banjo Kazooie, then uh, that flight pad's disabled. And so okay. if you're the washing machine, that's not Banjo and Kazooie, so you're allowed to use it. So it's kind of like a two in one thing where you can use the washing machine to delete the jiggy but also or uh, grab the jiggy without doing the dance and so yeah now we're just in the middle um, of the tree and yeah and so this so is naughty's house into his, yeah into his uh house. there's no naughty's house unfortunately oh my gosh it doesn't <laughs> exist in the summer no it doesn't exist in summer or spring there actually this entire like little uh tunnel here is just a white texture in spring i'm surprised so. that's even all there yeah 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 and so yeah, that's really something that really really cool you can do. Uh, I don't know. Do we have enough time for one more thing or? Yeah, you can do one set? more thing. Let's get it. Okay, and then cool. and then we wanna talk about you. Yeah, yeah. yeah today we learned a washing machine can fly. Now you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh right, reverse pumpkin adventure. Okay, that's what that's what I was referring to with the pumpkin. Oh yay! Really? I want to see the pumpkin. Yes. Yeah. That would be great. All right. So I need to get called from Cutscene State again. Let's go to the RBB. Where's it's in Lair? Lair's down here. RBB. I see it. Lobby. Lobby. There we go. Oh, I somehow spawned in there. Okay. That's hilarious. Sometimes you don't okay. know when you're gonna spawn, so uh, I'm just gonna. Pumpkin. Okay. Just kidding. Okay. Banjo. Banjo. All right, so we're just gonna get this again. We just need to hover over this. There we go. Oh wait, it's gonna. Oh crap. Okay. What am I gonna do here? I need to go to a different <laughs> spot. I'm so sorry. This. I swear I planned this ahead. I'm just like scrambling to get this done with. Uh. It's a good one. BJ's TTC puzzle room. Why are you spawning in the cauldron? Oh my gosh. Okay, that's fine though, because I can use this loading zone. That's okay. We're good. Oh my gosh. And that guy's being really bad. Oh wait, I need to... Wait, that's fine though, because I just do that. Okay, we're good. Cool, 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 cool. So now I'll just get the cauldron cutscene state, which allows us to spawn any cutscene. By just resetting it while you're in the cauldron. Oh, but it's gonna make me go, what? <laughs> Dude, what is going on? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, there we go, we got it. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, now we go to... CCW... Or no, no we, go, we don't go to CCW, what am I saying? We go to Lair, and then we go to MM Lobby. And then we're gonna transform into the pumpkin. And while having the pause menu open, because this, this is a pause overlap glitch related trick. All right. So hopefully I do this okay, first try. Go. And so what we're going to do is we are going to enter the the puzzle here. I'm just going to go on the leaderboard. 
Oh, great. Okay, it's making me want to go online, but I can't because I'm on emulator. That's funny. Oh, wait. Am I? I don't have jiggies. Oh, my God. You I'm so one? sorry. Yeah, I can go to, I can go to a, a different file. I had this file set up for this. I'm just like... I'm so sorry. I'm just scrambling. So. That's okay. Listen. Yeah. Heck issues, dude. Yeah. I kind of oh, love yeah. seeing the tools that are used for this and just like seeing you hop around yeah. and, and all the different things you're able to do. Yeah, That's yeah, awesome. yeah. Really Sorry if I'm cool. not like explaining stuff properly either because I'm just, I think I, 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 I'm trying my best, but. Um, yeah. Is this the right file? Which one is it? So this one has 10, this one has nine. I thought this one was supposed to have 10. Oh Lord, okay. So what do I have? How many do I have right now? Nine, okay, we're good. We need nine to open up Gobi's Valley. That's why I set this up. Right. Perfect. Um, then we go to Lair. Uh, we go to MM Lobby down here. And there's like a lot of unknown locations. Those actually crash the game. Those are just like unused, like index warp things. It's kind of cool. But all right, uh, I'm just gonna do that and then. Okay. I need, actually need a timer on my phone because this cutscene for some reason is like way too long and you can't really time it like correctly. So I'm just going to reset my timer on my phone. Okay. And I'm ready. I need, I need to transform into the pumpkin. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. And so, yeah, this would be possible without the, the hacks, by the way. This is just a really fast way to do this. This would take like 20 minutes to set up. Oh, if I gotcha. To actually yeah, do it, so. Much faster. <laughs> Yeah, so Bottle's text is gonna make me... Yeah, I have to listen to his text. You can see, like, the text is invisible, but you can see it, like, the jiggy going up. Yes. And so, what I'm gonna do here is just make sure... Okay, so now I can press Z, so... Go back. And then... We go up like that, and then we can do that. That, I'm gonna start my timer and Z at the same time. Oh wait, do I not have the stay? Oh my god. I forgot about the cauldron mean? cuts. I need to be in the, the cutscene. Oh right. gosh, this is so complicated. Yeah, I know. All this stuff is so complicated. Shout out to the 8-bit beast who found like pretty much all of this stuff. Um, I mm. found the menu, but went so far with it. But, gotcha. but essentially what happened there, I would spawn right in the, the default location of of the pumpkin in that room is right next to the Gobi's Valley entrance and if I extended the cutscene uh, I could walk into Gobi's Valley and basically be the pumpkin so I'm just gonna do that now I can oh, teleport there. that's really cool that's super cool then, so that so that's yeah. what would happen yeah would mm -hmm. any of these glitches work on the n64 version this so kind of thing? this one specifically does not work you can get cauldron cutscene state on N64, it does work, but okay. since you don't have this menu, you can't like do anything with it. Gotcha. So, okay. Yeah. And so the menu is broken in that way because a lot of this game is exactly the same when it comes to Xbox and N64, like code-wise. Uh -huh. And so new menu and everything, they kind of just duct taped it onto the actual game, and that's why it's so broken. So, um, right. So where's Gobi's Valley? <laughs> It's probably in like the weirdest spot. It's like, um, okay. I'm just gonna go. Where? So weird. I'm just gonna go to secret chamber. We're in the secret chamber. Oh sweet. This is the stab and swap room, but I'm just using it to get to Gobi's Valley. I could not, right. I couldn't find the actual work. All right, so now, yeah, if we did that glitch, we could use the pumpkin again to Gobi's Valley. We can actually leave and go into other levels too if we wanted to, but obviously we I'm don't have I'm assuming you're also short enough here to get underneath, yep. like the. <laughs> you go right underneath and go into this loading zone. You can't. The pumpkin is like probably the worst transformation in the game because one, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Yes, you so, can jump and that's it. Jump and that's it, yep. Yep, you're small. And, and you can actually get soft oh. in a lot of places. So if you come down here and you go into the water, you'll just be stuck down oh, there. Oh no, because you can't get back out. And yeah. 
There's no way for me to get back out. There's I can't die. I can't do anything. Oh no! Yeah. Me, hang on. And yeah, I think that will probably be it for our little showcase here. Awesome. Oh my goodness. Sweet! Yeah. Alright, if you have anything else really quick, you can show it off. Otherwise, we can wrap here and uh, talk about you. Uh, yeah, we can probably just wrap it up here, yeah. Okay, sweet. That's cool. Really appreciate you putting in all this work into the yeah. showcase and working your way as best as you could through tech issues. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we really appreciate Very it. Cool. So, um, I will... Uh, yeah. I think we will we will call it here. Please let us know, TSR, where we can find you, what you're working on, like your socials, all of that stuff. Um, Plug yourself. I'm on, yeah, I'm on Twitch. I just stream every so often. I'm more active on YouTube. I, I just post glitches on there. If you want to see anything new with Xbox, uh, speedrunning related, it's always on my YouTube. I'm also on Twitter. Uh, it's just the same name, TSR Storm. You can find me on there. I wanted to shout out some some people. Uh, Trep. He's like the world record holder for Xbox. He's just been such an awesome dude. I think he was in chat earlier and maybe maybe still in chat, but he's a he's about to beat the N64 100% record, which would be historic because this this version was thought to be so slow for so long and then we mm -hmm. found all the stuff in the past year and it's just been it's been so awesome. So yeah. Um I'm really hoping he can beat that record soon and just like make some history cuz that would be that would be awesome. Yeah. And I also like to shout out Mini Rope for making the tools here that you're seeing on screen for all the different ways I can warp, I can select a certain jiggy, and and yeah. And who else do I got to shout out? And just like the entire banjo community, mm. they've just been so awesome. Uh, yeah. Throughout the years, and yeah, yeah. And if you got anything out from the showcase, is that the Xbox version? is a broken version that you can speedrun. You can go to speedrun.com and you can just, you can uh, find guides there to in order to uh, speedrun this version. And it, it's definitely valid as a version of this of this game. Cool. Yeah, there is a lot of unique stuff on there that I had yeah. no idea about. Cause I guess I'm just so mm -hmm. used to seeing the N64 version. Um, yeah, it's really cool to see kind of like what has come up and about and all the things that you've been able to find yourself, TSR, yeah. in in these versions of the game. So this mm -hmm. was really cool. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here. You were awesome. You all, please yeah. go give TSR some love for this. We really appreciate you all being here um, with us on Out of Bounds. It's been such a pleasure. And uh, just want to say that if you missed any of our other Hotfix shows or wanted to check out some of our runs from this past ATDQ 2024. You can go to our YouTube channel and check those out. Also, Unapologetically Black and Fast will be live in just a few weeks. It's going to be awesome. Exclamation UBAF in chat. Um, that's going to be really cool. Um, yeah. Lots of amazing things happening. And uh, thank you all for being here. We really appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your night. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, if you missed the beginning of the showcase, please go back and watch it. It was so cool. There's so much good stuff. I hope I can remember enough <laughs> from <laughs> it and with my- The snowballs? Oh my. Remember that? Yes, I will <laughs> never forget that now. I will never forget that. <laughs> anyway, yeah. great job, TSR. Thank you again for being here. Thank you all for watching. You all are great. And uh, we'll see you later. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. I'm gonna go rest my voice. <laughs>